on Dash. Hello, sure. everyone. How y'all doing? Hey. Hello. Hi, hey, hi. Howdy, 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 howdy. Who are you? It's me, the uh -huh. DM, he says, cape billowing in the wind or something. Show yourself. I'm right here. Oh, my God. Hi. Hello. It's me, the DM. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know why I said it that way. Um, <laughs> we are going to do a nice little recap once once Bribu gets back. Hell yes. Hell yes. Missed you guys. This should be a good uh, good story arc that we're going to be diving into. Got some, some good lore coming in. And yes, chat, the background is what it needs to be because of where our players currently are. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot we're in this messed up place. Yeah, <laughs> Brett, I have one confusing thing in this character creation because the feat I took was that I'm a magic initiate as a wizard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a wizard. Mm -hmm. And um, I need to be able to see the the uh, wizard class cantrips and spells to be able to add them. Do you not? I can't is that not like a filter? No, I assumed I'd be able to see it, but I actually can't. Hmm. I did that with Qua in the same program, and I didn't yeah. have any issue, I don't think. Mm. Gust should be visible, but it's not. Oh, well, let's see what's let's see what the heck he's going on, my dude. Um, I can see the other ones though. Five E tools. Five E tools. Five E tools. Five E. Yeah, you can do five E tools. Helps too. Uh, what are you looking for? Cantrips and first level spells, correct? Yeah, I was looking for Gust, which is a <clears throat> wizard one, if I remember correctly. Gust? Cantrips and first level of wizard, yeah. Okay, I'm also gonna go ahead and link you this. See if that that'll take you to where you need to go. If it don't. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, but as far as Gust goes, ain't turning the page. Uh, Gust is a cantrip. He's the yeah. air compelled to create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll, uh, we'll add that in. Thank you. We'll do. You the best. Benji gets <laughs> Gust. You get two cantrips, correct? Yes. And a level one spell. And a level one spell of my choice. And what is your second? Cantrip. Second cantrip, create bonfire. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this guy's thinking. And uh, oh, they're just taking magic missile or some bullshit. Set, well, though those are those are cantrips. We haven't gotten to the first level spells. Uh, what mm. first level spell are you taking, Benji? Oh, jeez, that's a lot of pressure, Brett. Um, magic missile. Um, I I already have all the important ones. There's got a, then why'd you take magic initiate? Just for the bonfire? No, for the other one, gust. Um, oh, because it's thematic. I want to flap my wings and create gusts. Oh. Mm. That is pretty awesome. Okay, I'll take two seconds and I'll have it for you. Sorry. Hey, um, while you guys are talking, I'm gonna, I, I want to grab a little, little energy drink just to, 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 to wake me up while we're waiting for Bree. Yeah, so. dude, get juiced. Yeah, I'm gonna get juiced. Uh, go ahead and entertain chat. That's not a uh, disaster at all. Uh, okay, Should I get Unseen oh, Seven? Hi, chat. Should we, should we talk about what we took at our level up, or I don't know. Sure, yeah, if you can, wanna dude. discuss yeah. it, go ahead. Can oh, I oh. ask a question about mobile? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Does that mean like I could run in, hit someone with my hunter's knife, and then run away, and even if I don't hit him, they won't be able to yeah. do attack of opportunity? Although, I think as a rogue, don't you already, like, not provoke attack of opt or some shit, right? Really? Have advantage or something? Isn't that a thing? Somebody help me out here. I don't play rogue. Benji, you've played rogue. Where'd he go? Yeah, what's up? Can, do rogues get a thing where they can just, like, leave attack of opt and, like, not get attacked? Yeah, Isn't bonus action. Like, yeah, bonus, action, bonus, action. bonus action disengage, yeah. Oh, but I have to then, Yeah, if you action. didn't want to use a bonus action, you could take mobile, and then if you swung, you could just leave. I mean, oh, I would cool. recommend utilizing the, the rogue thing more. Um, uh -huh. I mean, I, what do you use your bonus actions for any otherwise as a rogue? Um, sometimes I use it for the double-handed thing yeah. so I can get in an extra oh, hit. That's right. Cause Cause you, your, your, like, your second attack is, a, is your bonus action. Mm -hmm. And then I could yeah. like move away or something. Like, I either use it for that or stealthing if nobody's next to the creatures, so I can get mm. that, uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, um, have you looked at Sharpshooter? Oh, uh, is that the one that's, like, I can sacrifice the penalty? No, Sharpshooter is, uh, for your bow. Attacking at long range doesn't give you disadvantage <laughs> on ranged weapon attack rolls. 
Your ranged weapon attack rolls ignore half cover and three quarters cover. Um, you can choose to take a minus five aim penalty to add plus 10 damage to your ranged attacks. Oh, that sounds fun, but I don't know if I roll high enough. Also, well, it's worth noting them. is you're never if really you... shooting that far away. This is for like yeah. long range attack. If you attack from like oh. stealth, you would oh. attack with advantage and then you'd get plus 10 damage plus sneak attack. So it's pretty good. Oh, the big one I is get... uh, that you don't get disadvantage. All right, I'm back. Oh. WB, yeah. what energy drink you get? Oh, I have I have a little uh, I have like an energy drink powder. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll make adult tang. Gamer yeah. stops. Gamer, so yeah. It, it, stealth? Does it have electrolytes? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. You're fine. <laughs> I'm excited about what Stripper was saying. I was like, wait, what? So if I, I'm stealthed and I take sharpshooter, I don't have to take it a penalty to the, to the attack roll. I just get a bonus. No, you do take it. a penalty, but, but if you attack something out of stealth, you get advantage. So you get to roll twice. Which would help neutralize oh, the minus yeah. five. To be yeah, so you get a pretty good, maybe. You get like a better than no, normal chance of hitting the target. Oh, God. Here we oh. go. Here, great, it's, yeah, sharpshooter. I remember yeah. this. I, it, I sent the uh, list of things. Technically, but... if you wanted, you could shoot really far away, too, but oh, we're not really ever that far away. Yeah. No, no, no. It's good. It's yeah. good. Some are, uh, uh, some are broker ranger with sharpshooter. <laughs> it's else. very good. It's very good. It's, a, it's cool stuff. It's oh. so good. They plan on nerfing it in the new D and D version. But they haven't nerfed it yet. Well, they haven't, they haven't they nerfed haven't, it yet. They haven't nerfed it yet. That is true. Uh, yeah, That's they, all the matters. OP. I want to be OP. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be OP. <laughs> all right. You can be I'm OP. In, I'm emboldening our serial killer. OP. Yeah. <laughs> You've done a bad I'm thing today, dude. Yeah, yeah, maybe I fucked up. Maybe I uh, fucked up, he says with a smile on his face. Uh Bree, you back? Yeah, I'm here. Alright, so as Bree, to are you back, Bree? Uh, I'm to, here. She, Bree? She, 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 she just said she <laughs> Bree, what? Why are you crying? <laughs> We're playing D and D. This is a oh, fun time. <laughs> Can anybody hear me? Free, yes. free. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video where like Watch the kid Bree? sits on the bed and they do this spell to make him invisible and then yes. they, oh, they oh my god, dude! Oh my so god! Cute. Have you seen this, Brett? No, I haven't. It's a sis, two sisters, and they take a photo with just the sister sat on the bed, and mm -hmm. then they bring their brother in and they do a spell to make him invisible. Mm -hmm. And then she takes a fake photo and shows the photo of just the sister on the bed, and the uh -huh. boy like breaks this down. Has a mind break. He realizes oh, no. he you doesn't want to be invisible, and they're like ignoring and, him. And he's yeah, like, "No, I don't want this. Like, no, they can't that's, see him. That's awful. Like, what? It is kind of fucked up. You do that to a like, chimpanzee, and it'll have a mind thing. break. Okay, yeah. and then it'll tear someone's face off. You shouldn't. Something you shouldn't similar do that. happened when I was a kid. That oh, no. if I tell this story, chat is gonna never let me live it down. Maybe I should just type it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, uh, the TLDR is Hello. doctor had to get a stool sample because I had tummy issues as a kid. Big yes. surprise. Still have yeah. tummy issues. Um, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I was really scared. To, my parents put like saran wrap in the toilet and I was scared it was going to hurt. Like I was mm -hmm. terrified to poop on the saran wrap. bounce off like a trampoline. I don't head. know what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> but my parents... Uh, my mom and dad were in the bathroom and they were like, no, look, see, dad did it and it's fine. And my dad's like sitting on the toilet. I'm like, I don't know, four years old. And right. my mom is like, look, he did it. And she has a spoon. It has brown stuff on it. Yeah. Oh, and then she's yeah, like, see, one. daddy did it. It's fine. And then she ate what was on the spoon. And <laughs> I thought it was poop because she was oh saying it was poop. God. And it was chocolate pudding. And oh, I was traumatized. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. I'm no, that's oh, not meant God. to happen. Yeah. I, just slowly, I was peeling the lid of chocolate pudding as this story was happening. <laughs> and, and I just looked Let's down and took a bite. On. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad God. it didn't face you. Oh, <laughs> I remember God. I told that story to one of my managers and he was like, this explains why you're so fucked up. Holy <laughs> like, shit! What? Like, oh. oh, that was okay. the moment. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Haha! <laughs> thanks. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. See, right. that chat is even saying that explains a lot. See, I knew this is gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm unfazed by you. Literally, have a tweet 
with over a hundred thousand oh my likes. god that's I, what is up with that that <laughs> what you, i like that you said that like it's twitter's the, the one that's got the problem that, <laughs> that the... tweet was in my draft for eight months i don't understand clearly, clearly people why. respond to it they like they like I it the people have spoken so. they wait what up. was this tweet i want well, to send it to you you can Here. find out on twitter.com slash <laughs> there you go and then yeah it's All a, the crusty uh, yeah. tweet, crusty, yeah. Yeah. crusty tweets. I literally yeah, that like, that they I was the sitting on that for so long. I wasn't even gonna post it. I was like, eh, this is not a good one. Sixteen thousand retweets, and everyone wants just oh, oh, just pointing at that and laughing them. Like, look at this that's, tweet. That's a for them kind of tweet. Yeah. You know, it's like Taika Waititi. One for them, one, one for him, me. one for himself. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the, 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 the lava discharge crusty what, thing? And yeah, what, there you go. what was what was the follow up tweet you made? To that because that was also i said is good. this tweet my legacy yeah that was legacy. great yeah, yeah thank that you. one's yeah. honestly better i like that the, i that, like that one better too but it's not gonna get the love it deserves that, that was, was for me no, that, was, underappreciated of its that was a good yeah, follow-up that was thank a you that was a strong follow-up <laughs> in my mind hey brett brettimus yes. i have um a level first level spell that i chosen and i wrote it into our chat i saw Oh my god, you're so good. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I saw it along with Bree's uh, amazing tweet. That's. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to delete okay. that now. Yeah, <laughs> that. What, the tweet? <laughs> no, what not is... the tweet. Just the... <laughs> she can delete it from the Discord. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so just as a recap, uh, you guys still have not taken a long rest, which means you are still level four uh, over in Foundry, so until you've completed. Edge. Uh, a okay. long rest, you'll be able to do that. Um, so we're all passing out immediately, right? That's the plan? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see what you guys have decided no. at this point. Okay. Um, also, because it's been a couple of weeks, uh, some of you guys do have ordeal stacks or the new exhaustion rules that D&D &D oh, featured right. quite literally a week after that we introduced ordeals in the fucking stream game. We're on the right track. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know, baby. Right. We're on the right track. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's still a thing. Remember, uh, every time you take a long rest, you can remove one ordeal. Uh, ba -ba -ba, check in this real quick. Uh, Remo's got one ordeal stack. And Don't I have like five? <laughs> Kopi's got three. <laughs> Kopi's not oh. doing well. The TLDR <laughs> of ordeal stacks is you suffer a minus one penalty to your proficiency bonus. Uh, so currently, um, because you haven't leveled up yet, uh, currently Kopi has a negative one to proficiency. So that's just really just weighing things down there. So, yeah, good shit, good mm -hmm. shit. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do the recap, shall we? I've got a page mm -hmm. and a half of recap for you guys because uh, we're starting all the way from the beginning of, of, uh, of this. Uh, today's episode may or may not be the season finale. Uh, no, no fanfare for this because uh, I feel like the big fanfare part was with the uh, the death of the, or not the death, but the saving of the mournful queen. Um, if we do jump into season three, uh, just as a heads up, it's going to be immediate. There won't be a break with that because you guys are potentially in the storyline for it right now. Uh, so uh, yeah. It seems to be like in every every ten or so sessions, uh, new new chapter, a new 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 turn of the page. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so last time on Curious Curios, uh, we'll start all the way from the beginning of the sea. The party ventured into the realm connected by the Curios Keep to the Vale of Frostfell, a land of eternal winter. It was with this hope that the party would be able to return what was once stolen. The wedding band that once belonged to a fallen king, one taken from the mournful queen. Entering the city of Mording, it was a set it was a settlement absent of emotion and life. Those that patrol this old city felt devoid of feeling, wandering aimlessly to uh, complete their goals. There was Kef the Vagrant, a man you showed kindness and offered respite uh, back at the keep. Loran, uh, by the way, I'm going to say some names you guys might not be familiar with, but these are the names of the, the, the various <laughs> roles you've seen. Uh, Gloran, the butcher with a strange agenda, hacking apart corpses and making a discovery the bodies he's examined were missing organs. 
Asal, the town guard who was going through the motions, causing trouble to the party before being knocked out and then unfortunately slain. And Mal, the magical instructor of the academy you passed through. Uh, and uh, Sivos, uh, the curator, a loud and boisterous man that spoke more than he acted. Passing through the village, you faced Haldir the hunter, who hunted anyone that entered the woods, along with his faithful and blind hound, Joanna. Deeper still, towards the mournful keep, the gardens before your destination seemed particularly cursed, as the Shadow Vale had punctured through the core, uh, the once peaceful frost fell, its influences twisted the very lands and caused threats to leak out. One in particular, a powerful shadow devil uh, that took the form of a deep-seated fear, one shared by Hubi and Olive, a mysterious half-orc doctor with an unknown power. Destroying the devil, our party once again pressed on. Arriving at the keep, the Shadow Veil has continued to tear apart at this once sacred area. Exploring the dangers where, where plummeting below the land of shadow, always a looming threat, the party dispatched of a skeleton that housed a spirit. One who parlayed with the party, introduced himself as Sir Siren Kallik, uh, one, sir, uh, one servant of Queen Morved before she transformed into the mournful queen. Uh, Sir Siren Kallik told a tale of how Frostfell came to be, how Queen Morvid and her husband, the King of Silver Soil, uh, all of them a uh, long time ago ruled within Feywonder before encountering a, uh, a name your party was familiar with, Count Corbet Aliste. The Count, along with bewildered Racklings, attacks and, attacked and murdered the King in plain view of the Queen, causing her to twist in anguish. One Rackling attempted to stop this onslaught, as it was discovered to be Tantu from a long, long time ago, before he too became cursed, falling into deep petrification. With the powerful anguish of the queen and the wedding band from the fallen king, now in the count, uh, now in the count's, uh, uh, in the count's possession, he began to cast from a shadowy book, dating with the ring of husband and the wails of his wife. I shall create a new land where frost shall fall. And from there, the deceased Sir uh, Siren awoken to the land of Frostfell under the service of the undead mournful queen, requesting the party to dispatch of her, to free her from her anguish. Continuing forward, you encountered her, the mournful queen decorated with a funeral shawl. Tantu attempted to return the ring, which the queen attempted to accept, before her stagnant form began to break, revealing the anguish that consistently tormented that consistently tormented her. Free me, she wailed, before transforming into her form of torment. Queen Morved, the mournful queen, was released. With victory earned immediately after the queen's spiritual <clears throat> departure, the rest of the keep, the rest of the kingdom, the rest of the realm of Frostfell plummeted to the shadow below, along with our heroes. Party awakens, a looming spirit hanging over Kopi, offering guidance, and wandering north. With the spirit's guidance, Kopi's armor and spear grew heavy, as if her ability to fight had been diminished. Surviving the plummet, there was one thing for certain. Frostfell is gone, and all that remains is the shadow. Shadow Veil. And that's our recap. Uh, anything else uh, I may have missed or anything like that? No. Any questions or need to re recap? Just to double check because my memory is awful. Absolutely. Um, so it was, you made it very apparent, obvious that, that, that it was my, uh, my spirit. My. I. Oh. I haven't, haven't said anything one way or another. Oh, you haven't said anything? Okay, never mind. Okay. But, I mean, you're free to come to whatever illusion you like. But a spirit looming over you, your 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 armor and spear now feeling heavy. It was that, obvious, Eric. Don't listen to him. Yeah, that, okay. that, that conclusion is for you to come up Wait, with. Wait, hold, hold on, Brett. I'm sorry. Yes. Thanks, Sam. Love you. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
Got to make sure we get that in. Okay. All right. Ignore that DM. Ignore the DM. Ignore, <laughs> ignore, <all> these... <laughs> ignore, the, ignore the DM. Ignore him. He's the enemy. <laughs> Dude. A secret. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay. you guys are now uh, progressing to the north. Uh, with a friendly reminder, you have not taken a long rest yet. You have continued to follow uh, this this, <clears throat> this uh, spiritual guide who sort of fades away off to the north. Um, Kopi, your spear is heavy, your armor is heavy, uh, and your ability to fight uh, will be, I hate to say this, but will be further diminished uh, because of this beyond the ordeal stacks. You are not in good shape, my friend. So, okay. Uh, heads up. I didn't want you to think I was picking on you, but uh, you got a lot of stuff going not against you right now. Bully him, do it. All right. Guys, progress north through the shadowy cliff. Uh, am I supposed to see something? Not yet. I'm about to oh, load oh. that up. I'm bad. I I don't know. Sometimes it like glitches and I have to like refresh. No worries. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Activating now. It's a big oh. map, by the way. Just FYI, if you do decide to scroll around and scroll up. I'm lagging. Oh, great. Yeah, it is a big map. It's a big chunkin' map as you guys continue what to explore. What the hell is all that? The cliffs. Okay, so... Well, at least we're not gonna starve. <laughs> Progressing off to the north as you continue your advancement through the shadowy cliffs of the Shadow Vale. A sight familiar to you, and as you watch to see the ruins of a centaur encampment. Four of the centaurs already deceased and passed on, two injured, uh, and one standing strong and unfamiliar to you all. The game unpaused. You're free to do whatever you wish. Um, Kopi is like dragging her spear and mm -hmm. barely like able to move she's just pressing on for it because she has that that sense of a presence that she's trying to still follow mm -hmm. you'll just kind of watch as as Kopi is just like dragging the spear um almost dragging the spear trying to hold it and this is obvious to everyone um just fyi because uh, it has been a couple of weeks i've said the ordeals uh, currently, Tantu has an inspiration, and Olive has an inspiration. Oh, hell yeah. As a friendly reminder, uh, inspirations allow you to decide a role can be made at advantage. But once the role is made, you cannot decide to uh, make it advantage after the fact. You must decide before. Oh. All right. I, she's gonna press on. I'm just warning. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, please. Oh, where the where the hell are you rushing off to? I, I mean, where the hell are we even going? As she keeps struggling with her spear and armor. As you're screaming down the cliff, the dragging of the spear, and as you approach, the centaur woman charges ahead. You see a limp in one of her hooves. She holds out her glaive, pointing it over to you. Stay back! She screams at you, pointing the glaive. It's hard. She keeps moving forward. Ignore. Gross. She's uh, stepping back a little bit, holding the spear forward. I won't warn you again. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'd like to ask you the same question. He looks around. I mean, obviously, it's it, she can't hold this back any longer. You know, you're literally seeing the deceased centaur spread around. Uh, these two look like they're getting ready to fight as well, but they can barely hold their weapon, uh, and they're on the same, almost in the same appearance as Kopi, trying to trying to hold this weapon up. He looks over at you and looks you up and down. You shall smutter under your breath. <clears throat> Are you from Fey Wonder too? Are we from Fey Wonder? No, you're not. 
I don't know no Fey Wonder, but uh, we just came from uh, you know, I can't think of the name. Are you talking about Frostfell, or are you talking about the I'm in character? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Can't tell what's in character, what's out of character. But obviously, now we're here. All of us. Stars are always trying to fight everything all the time. <laughs> no, I'm just trying yeah, to look for a, something. They got a good idea going. And she starts walking forward slowly. Now stay put. She'll state once again, pointing the spear Why? over at you. Why? You don't own this place. You're just here too. I don't know who you are. You could be trying to harm with my tribe. What's what's left of it? Uh, you can think so seriously, gosh. Look around you, be. girl. We're all in danger here. So you should you be cautious to too. I'm not trying to fight. I'm asking you, I'm telling you to stay put till I know who you are. You keep marching forward and I may have to fend myself. Look, you can You're just like, like let us pass. If you just like stand to the side, we'll just like go on through. Hope he gets or irritated. we could kill you. I mean, I'll... either yeah. way, we're going. You guys sorry, are interested, sorry. So don't Hold make on. fights with us. Excuse my diplomatic friends. Um, what, what seems to be ailing your people here? Stupidity. And like as and, and like as as QB how can they not just attack us. How as QB just continues to say and insult the, 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 the centaur, she'll just go ahead and, and give a just a, immediately give a harumph, and she'll just be like centaurs, and then you'll just watch as they begin to draw their bow. All right, death it is. I hate are you, centaurs. Are you initiating combat? Uh, no. No, Kobe. I'm just. Oh, right. go on, please. Oh, Kopi gets irritated, uh, mm -hmm. and she mutters, "Look, we're not trying to fight you. Just get out of the way. I'm looking for someone." And she she puts another step forward. She looks around. He's the five, uh, the the marching, as offensive as they may be. Look at me! I'm dragging my spear! One, you think I can fight you right now? <laughs> one second, one second, Eric. So let me finish with my oh. statement. Uh, Sorry. She, she looks around, sees everyone that's kind of like approaching. She looks back at the centaurs, knowing that a fight here would mean certain death. <clears throat> even though your attempts at dipl diplomacy, as weak as it may be, she stops the conversation. She nods over to the centaurs, motioning them to the side. Back down. Their bows drop. You'll see them step back a little bit. She'll keep her spear up because, quite frankly, she doesn't trust you. She'll move back. Whoa, this centaur is smarter than the other centaurs I've met. She, <laughs> at this point, is just getting, uh, is, is gripping on to here. And I'm going to go ahead and make a roll. Okay. Honestly, so patient. She gr okay. she'll, she'll she'll growl under her breath, and she'll simply state, <clears throat> "You better not come back this way, girl. Find your way out of the cliffs. I will not tolerate your insolence for much longer." She steps back to let you through. It Thank you. so big for being so almost dead. Was that so hard? Yeah. He holds her tongue. Did he help? She looks, she almost as if she's looking past you at this point in time. You can just tell. I mean, tell, he is like two feet tall. Yeah, she, you could just tell from the, the words that have been exchanged that she is very much offended, but also uh, very worried about her. And she'll just state to you, Keep passing through. We will not request help from you. Thank you. Mm. Hope he keeps dragging along. I'm trying to figure out why. Why is Howie so tiny? I don't know. 
<laughs> he's waddling, okay? Like and he's small. Guy. He's a baby boy. He's so small. Do you need to get a piggyback ride? <laughs> well, I'm trying. Oh, I'm <laughs> Like it just like completely but... yeah it, no no it's fine it completely changed the sizes of everyone um, yeah I don't know why it's doing that uh, give me one second guys I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure everyone is where they need to be because everyone should be small with the exception of uh... Remo and yeah me um, Howie is small too yeah Howie Olive. Yeah, it's uh, it, it it honestly, it's it's more of like it's not that Owie's small, it's oh, that, it's that everyone's big. too big. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I'm the right size. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you pass on through. Well, now I'm big. Now you're oh, hold on one second. Gosh. Here you go. Thank you, Brett. Return back to minimal size. <laughs> All right. Quick second. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Uh, unpause. You may continue to march on through. Ventar will continue to tend. Uh, you'll continue to walk through just these ruinous areas. Uh, what were what what was once the centaur encampment the ruins of the building as you arrive over at this uh impasse notice over to the uh, a faint glow something unfamiliar to you um hmm. hey maybe this is like a dumb question but uh where the hell are we going um You'll Before I answer that, he continues to drag. Yeah, continue. Before I answer him, actually, um, it's more on the lines like, like there's something that's calling out to me. That's, uh, right. Nothing's you calling out repel. to you. Just, just you don't feel compelled to do anything. Oh, um, the spirit so, just like the spirit went this way, so you're just following it. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay I, I thought I, it was calling out to me. No, no, no. <laughs> very rarely will I. Oh, I think it just left. Yeah, very, very rarely will I tell you like you must do something. Um, if okay, I, I thought if, that's if, what this was. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's all good. Well, it can, uh, it can be of your own volition, right? Like from your own role play, you can say okay. that. Oh, absolutely. But, but if, you, Brett, if you, it's not going to tell you to do that. Right? Yeah, I, I'll never, I'll never compel you to do something. So, um, unless you're like mind controlled or something, in which case I'll just take over your character, and then you don't have okay. to worry about that. Unless you would like to play your mind. But well, no, my spirit is definitely gone. Yeah, um, well, yeah, so, you don't know where the spirit is went. It's traveled off to the north where it then sort of just vanished away. And you okay. haven't found uh, it yet. Look, I can't Kobe, really explain. Oh, explain, please, yes. <laughs> look, I can't really explain right now. But my spirit oh, is gone. And I need to find it. Mm, that's yeah, vague. Yeah. Do I see anything from here? We're just gonna act like that's normal. Kopi, as you advance over, you see a sheer cliff that dips down below. Just kind of almost as like uh, Frostfell was. It was hovering over the Shadow Veil. Uh, the Shadow Veil seems to be hovering over an infinite void. Certain okay. death would would probably uh, you would would probably happen to you if you were to fall down this cliff. Not the right way. And. She's kind of semi-ignoring the party. You just kind of watch as she continues to, to wander her way through. I feel like our priority should be finding a way out of this place. Right. Um. It's bad up there. No, Don't she's go walking there. off again. Port Copian, just see where this goes. All right, give me one second. Right. Why do I have to follow a crazy person who's chasing after a ghost? You're just wa yeah, you're just watching as Kopi is just leaving the party. Kopi, is it fair to say that you're going to be leaving the party uh, if you wish to move in the direction that you're going? 
Uh, wait, what? I'm leaving the party? No, no, you're just moving. And leading. Like you're, leading. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 are you leading the party? Oh, the party? Or... I'm leaving. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, I guess I'm leading them, but I mean, like, I don't know, like, if Is... they do stuff, it depends on what they do towards me, if they're trying to stop me or not. Well, I don't think, is anyone trying to stop Kopi at all, or is Kopi no. just going up here kind of like, uh -huh, what's going on, huh? It's kind of like a shrug follow behind. <laughs> kind of like, oh, make all right. Yeah, just like, it's like back. bewildered following. Like, we're not yeah. sure what to make of it but right now. She's definitely leading as far all as right. I'm concerned. All right, feel free to yeah. continue. Oh, feel free to continue. I kind of saw a glimpse. Yeah, I saw this. <laughs> um, As you look around, a familiar figure yeah what wall. is he doing there um you'll see kef the vagrant who stands up familiar with your face and will walk up with a smile and though it's hollow because of everything that happened you'll see he walks with a limp as he raises his hand out to you wait Friends. a second what are you doing here oh i knew we forgot something <laughs> <laughs> he look, he'll look he looks that's over right you. He'll look over and says, I suppose I could ask the same question, but I'm happy to see that you're alive. Entire city just sunk into nothing. I, I was pretty sure I was going to be dead. Mm. We laid the queen fine? to rest. You returned the wing. Half smiles. I knew you could. I, uh, so, everything's back. The mind haze is lifted from me. And you, the rest of you, has the mind haze been lifted from you as well? I don't know what you're talking about. I think we had a mind haze. Is that like when you eat some kind of special grass? He shakes his head. Uh, and he'll, he'll just, he'll just say to himself, you know, his body's shaking a little bit. Um, he says, no, no. My, I had a life before Frost fell. I apparently, uh, lived in a kingdom of silver soil. Over in the, the Vale, uh, what was it? Uh, over, over at, uh, Feywonder. I simply assumed you were from there as well. Nah, everybody keeps mm. mentioning that place, though. You should come with us. We're trying to get out. Yeah, weren't you going to work for us, Calf? I, I do remember making that agreement. Uh, but yes. I, I suppose there is no home left for me. I, I, I apologize. I suppose this is more of a, a first introduction. You met a different version of me back at Frostfell. Apparently, Your twin? No, 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 nothing like that. I was oh. taken from Silver Soil. We all were. The queen, uh, the servants of the queen. The king apparently was fallen. Uh, bless him. I was merely meant to play a role in Frostfell. For what that role is, I am uncertain. It seems that in my life, previous life before Frost fell, I was a bard. I sung songs and told stories of Fey Wonder, of Silver Soil. So I ah. Once I was taken to Frost fell, I. He looks down. I don't remember anything, any of it. My mind was in a haze. And I. Well. I wasn't motivated to keep living. Just kind of let fate take me to wherever it needed to be. Now my memory's back, but I, uh, this place is, I'm uncertain where we are. Do you know anything about this place? Do you know anything of this, this area? No. No, but I must press on. And she starts walking forward. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. Help you wait. Kopi, wait. Sorry about no, her. She's in wait. a bit of a, a fugue state. All right. Uh, Kopi will continue <laughs> to press on as uh, Kef will just look in wonder. Kopi continues Kef, to march forward. come with us. Oh, just walk yeah. with us, man. Yeah, you can be our zombie brother. 
All right, I'm going to pause just because <laughs> Kopi's getting a little too far ahead now. Um, all right, Cap's going to go ahead and continue to follow. This might actually be a very quick session, guys. Cap continues Wait, to follow really? along your ways. Oh, you're ch charging uh -oh. forward. I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to... No, it's your char it's your character. You do whatever okay. your character would do. Uh, Kef, in a stump, but a complete stupor, will continue to follow you guys. What would you like to do now, Kopi, since you're leading the party? She's just going to keep walking forward. All right. You end right. up in this weird, strange temple as you continue to advance on. Anything you'd like to do or investigate, or are you pressing on, Kopi? Uh, I mean... Your spirit is not there's here. Like some um, yeah, unless there's like no presence of it, then she's just gonna keep. She would just keep walking. Very well. Forward. Kobe continues to advance. What is everyone else doing? Rap, can I? Kobe, where the hell are you uh, going? Can I, I investigate don't this know. Pool? Uh, yes, I'm gonna pause for a second. Kobe's moving on ahead, and I need to move back over here. Sorry. Once the party splits up, I kind of have to like pause to see what everyone is doing. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Tantu, what are you doing? The pool will catch Tantu's eye as they walk, and he'll just meander over to you yeah it you're gonna advance down. you're gonna advance over it's not a pool um it's a sheer cliffside and as you look oh. uh, beyond there it is it, the infinite void if you were to fall over there it means certain doom uh is there anything anyone else is doing before i unpause and kopi continues to move i'm calling out to kef to get him to come with us kef is slowly following behind olive what are you doing i'm just following the pack Okay. Uh, do you want me to move you up just a little bit, or are you uh, are you just kind of like staying too close behind? I'm staying close behind. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move you over just so the party is relatively That's close fine. with each other. Uh, and I will unpause. Kopi, you may continue your. Um, movement. she continues. I don't know, but I must find my spirit. And she keeps. Well, you're not gonna forward. find it by just running off. Slow down. Olive, can... why don't you hurry up? Kopi, Kopi. Kopi. Continue. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no, continue on. I'm waiting on you. You're the one that's moving. No, no, no. I, uh, um, Benji. Oh no, Howie's just yelling to you to get your attention. Oh, you're just. Oh, he was just yelling. Okay. He he just wants Kopi to respond. Kopi, what? How do you know which direction to go? I saw it go to the north. Okay, but uh, which way is north? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this way. How do we you just... just said you don't know where you're going? All Maybe I figure out our options. She has a compass heart. She could tell us which direction. Mm. What, what is it? Is that compass supposed to be a compass? I I have an ability that allows me to know directions. Yeah. Well, you're well, going off in the direction that you saw your spirit, whether that be uh, north yeah, or otherwise. Why are there well, so ever... many mini? They're dead people. Yeah, but with all I these winding statues. tunnels and hallways, oh. I, I figure we, we might as well try and get our bearings, Kopi. To best find your spirit as soon as possible, of course. Kopi, what are you doing? She, she's she's not going to take that logic into consideration. She's all right, going, Kopi presses on. Nope, it's all good. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, I'd like to Basically, you're going to have to, like, force her. Nope, continue yeah. on. She keeps walking forward. A huge, <clears throat> a heavy door blocks your way. I'd like Is to investigate door? this coffin. All right, I will pause while you go ahead and do that. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. What are you looking for exactly? Um, just or or like any studying, like knowledge you're doing. Studying it in general. Do I recognize the markings? Is it open? Okay. Uh, uh, feel free to roll like... a religion check if you're trying to figure out more of the temple. And then we'll get back over to you. Uh, Ooh, Kobe. It's a nine. Unfortunately, a nine is insufficient, but even if it was stronger, markings feel unfamiliar to you. Um, you don't recognize this place from home or any other location that you've seen. This seems to be an entirely different mm, theocracy and religion. All when you're in this new twisted veil, it's uncertain. What recognize but this. Uh, I have unpaused. Uh, if you'd like to continue moving on, I'll copy you can. And if anyone else calls out anything they'd like to see. None of this means anything to me, Tonto. 
Doesn't look like anything to me. A heavy double door blocks Kopi's way. Kopi, what are you doing? Uh, she's gonna try to open it. All right. You push the door open as you arrive over to the cliff uh, into another open area, leaving these temple going. Shouldn't these bodies be a warning for Kopi? I think they're statues. Half looks around and looks over to the party, looking directly at looking north to Kopi and looking to everyone. Where, where is she going? What is she? Look, look man, I'm not her babysitter. Just, Can I yeah. investigate these statues? I think QB's really curious about these winged people. All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, make a religion check, please. Ooh. Okay. I didn't notice the wings. Uh, the same answer, uh, sadly, that I gave Taunt to, as you're just kind of looking okay. around at all of this, uh, it seems to be of a uh, of a of a in, of, of a different religion in its entirety. I want to at it. Right, he's <laughs> uh, kind of going back over to Remo. Um, Remo, as you're like looking around, would you consider Remo religious of any no. kind or have knowledge of it? Uh, no. Well, I this will. Your luck. It would be like hearsay heard in a bar or something. Yeah, like... yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna have to go off of the religion check that 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 Remo would absolutely have like the level of. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, sure. it seems ancient. Like it, this seems like it's been here for thousands mm. upon thousands this of years. Old. <laughs> this statue yeah. is very old. Okay. Scoot observation, Remo. <laughs> no, I mean like very old. Oh. More um, precise. Yes. I mean, Ooh. would I would I have like noticed it immediately? Like, is it something that like a Kopi would have noticed like by look, not even having to like take like a big look at it um, by passing by? Or that's a, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, you. For my impression, you've just completely marched north through this temple. Yeah, I did. I did. So, okay, so then there's it's... no other info that I can give you, sadly. Okay, sure. Uh, um, she's gonna keep walking forward. All right. Brett, do these bodies... bodies? Oh, sorry. Go on. Go the you first, bud. That's okay. I was just gonna no, ask no, 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 uh, Calf. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how we would probably go to Calf and say, uh, Calf, 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 uh, is there anything dangerous here? We met some centaurs that were injured. I, uh, don't know. I ended up here in the front of the temple. I was right, right. trying my best to figure out exactly what could be done where okay. I would be going uh, I have to they stop they probably just injured themselves I uh I have to stop what <laughs> you're doing because uh Kopi has advanced over to a new area Kopi as you walk over to the north to the new cliffs you see a bunch of broken eggs hatched and and broken up in this sort of like just ripped and torn asunder seems to be of a large creature but you're unfamiliar of what what would you like to do should I should I stop my pacing is it is it actually too fast for the game <laughs> It's, no, I'm letting you run off, man. You Go do die. whatever you want. As DM, I, I have to take the back seat. You, uh, you do what you do. You can you run do. off, but as a guy who's run off before, yeah. it's good I to die. weigh up. It's good to find a balance between what your character would do and what is good for the group. That's as why a I'm. Whole, that's though. why I'm like waiting right here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, our characters in roleplay. I mean, Howie's not like super interested in stopping you unless it's gonna hurt you. No, that's me why either. he's asking for calf, and he's like just checking it's safe, but. Yeah, unfortunately, Kef doesn't I mean, know. He'll he'll look over no, to you. No, yeah, right. Just... But deduction alone would say that there's a bunch of dead centaurs that seemed worried about things nearby. This probably isn't a super place, uh, safe place. That's for sure. Yeah. Kef has to look over at you, and he's just he'll, he'll state again. He's like, after after the kingdom was was swallowed up, it evaporated before my eyes. I woke up here, uh, a little worse for wear, sure, but. I must admit, I was uh, a bit afraid to press on forward in mm. unfamiliar lands. You look older, Calf. I swear you were this, uh, like a little, little bit more spry back in Frostfell. <laughs> yeah, everyone keeps saying this in chat as well. This is the it. same token, guys. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the yeah. same guy. It's the same like guy. Nothing has changed. I don't know if it's the lighting down here or... It's the lighting, because everything was... Maybe people zoom blue. in or something, like... Yeah. Well, it's also because you were in a frosty blue area yeah, where there all was of the snow illumination everywhere. from the snow. Yeah, exactly. I think you look more handsome. I think yeah, you more angular look, for sure. Yeah, why, very why are, distinguished. Why are we talking about my appearance? 
I don't yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering, well, curious if it was an effect of the uh, kingdom collapsing, or maybe the mind haze. Who knows? He mind haze. Takes his head a little bit. I, uh, I. This is just who I've always been. Ah, right. Except for the you way you were yourself. <laughs> I, I do a little bit of my homeland. It's slowly coming back to me. Can you sing us a bard song? <laughs> I'd rather not right now, little lady. He's <laughs> <laughs> about to cry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How are you <laughs> still spry and full of energy? The kingdom had been swallowed up underneath you. Oh, oh she's psychotic. She, he doesn't know. <laughs> it it doesn't wasn't know. her kingdom, you know. She was just passing <laughs> through. Through. Where are you from, anyway? Landy, the great kingdom of Landy. Mm -hmm. Landy. I'm yes. I used to live on a yak farm. She lived on a yak farm. We had <laughs> giant castles made of wood and dirt. And we had a festival, a cheese festival, or I don't know what's what was that festival. I don't know either. I, I never left my laboratory. Oh. It was a it festival was nice celebrating the, t the, the 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 airship taking it's off. It's for you. Yeah, but if you remember how he did not. Care. Oh no! I know! He I know! Just, I was yeah. I was just remi I was just reminding you of you that yeah. Yeah. It seems hey, Brett, so long this? ago. Yeah. Uh, what's the what? statue at the end of this path? This there. ominous hallway. You are to free to walk over and investigate if you. Ah <sighs> fuck. Brad, I'd like to look at hey, the bodies. Boy. All right. I will. So Remo's advancing. Do what you will in what order. Uh, and, uh, let's see here, uh, Tantu, looking down over at the bodies, uh, what are you trying to decipher from this? Well, Remo had mentioned that this place was incredibly ancient, so he would be looking for, do the, do the does the decay of the bodies match how old mm. they think this place is, and have they been wounded in some way? Go ahead and make a medicine check, or you may okay. make a religion check for more information about the bodies. Um, Kopi, if you're not advancing anymore, I'm just going to move you back just a little bit with the assumption that you've charged ahead. It's Whoa. a seven. I'm stupid. Uh, I'm... yeah. Yeah. So as you kind of observe the bodies themselves, I will let you know with a seven, um, as far as the age of the bodies, you kind of look over at these, these humanoids. Um, some characteristics come out to you, even with the, the low medicine. They do have like the model and the build, not like not the model, but they do have like the build of a uh, a humanoid you would see um, out uh, over at Io or even in Fey Wonder, because humans and humanoids are are everywhere essentially. Um, but these seem to be a little bit different. Uh, you are, I would say, Tantu, you are familiar with uh, the Devil Bloodline, the humanoids of the Devil Bloodline, uh, beings and entities of shadow. As you stare over into the corpse that are just stacked um, upon them, they appear to be shadow in origin. As far as his age is concerned, you know, with uh, <laughs> with Remo saying this place is very, very, very old, uh, the bodies do not. Perhaps something, perhaps a mishap happened here. But with your medicine check of seven, I cannot give you any more. Oh, the bodies simply do not seem to be as old as we were saying. Correct. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Um. They... Yes. Oh, Olive is drawing everything that she sees in her sketchbook okay. and taking notes. Any uh, any checks Olive would like to make? Yeah. Uh, I don't. Would religion be best here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, we've she doesn't have tried some religion. Yeah, she doesn't have any proficiency in religion. That's okay. Um, as a, as a cleric with your studies of spells, you would you would come be able to come to some kind of conclusions, maybe not in depth lore wise, but yeah. As you like, look around over this this circular ritual area, um, and look over at the bodies. Uh, a religion mm -hmm. of fifteen will definitely. Uh, these bodies were used in sacrifice for some kind of ritual. Ooh. But as far as as what is concerned, the bodies lay bare. Um, religion of fifteen. 
Actually, I think a 15 would give you just that information. Uh, someone was attempting a breach here. Mm. Um, your religion check uh, uh, um, um, when it comes to sh the origin of shadow and the devil bloodline of the shadow veil. Um, entities of shadow have constantly, consistently, have been trying to break through to Io to return back to their lands. Now, you're not super familiar with the deep lore of the devil race. Um, the religion only gives you so much. But you do know from many entries in, 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 in theology books that this is um, the shadow and entities of shadow are, are always, always trying to break themselves out of the shadow veil mm. to arrive in Io, which does unfortunately give you an unsettling thought. The shadow veil was meant to be a prison for the devil bloodline. Are you in that prison now? And if so, how are you going to get out? Ooh. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold that thought. I'm gonna go over to Remo. So Remo, you arrive over in this area, you kind of see this gnarled up statue of what appears to be a devil hovering over there. Very gaunt in appearance. Um, and as you look over, you actually see a liquid kind of stagnant over mm. there, especially thick. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you like uh, to do now that you've arrived over to this mysterious liquid? Taste it. <laughs> you're, just gonna, you're just gonna dip your oh, hand God. in and taste it. All right. Little, like, give a finger in. Finger to um, tongue. So Shrek. As you put a finger, <laughs> as you put a, a finger into the fountain and then dip it onto your tongue, you immediately just—it's it, just it contort in the taste. It's bitter. It's vile. It's rotten. It's blood. Old, stagnant Ew. blood. Yeah, that you know what? I'm probably gonna guess that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the all the info I can uh, give you with the. Uh, um, the can I do an info. investigation check for some kind of like lever or pressure plate or anything like that or button? Feel free. On the see if there's any somewhere. Some, Let me some sort of like hidden thing or. Can I also do an investigation check, but for writing anywhere? Yes, absolutely. Oof. Nineteen. Uh, unfortunately, Remo, with your investigation check of nine, there's nothing you would decipher from that. Okay, I'm done All here. Right. However, you kind of like <laughs> look around the area of the ritual site. My uh, mouse eyes, what do they see? You will see some uh, some old uh, scriptures over here. Oh, she's gonna scurry over super. Like and they, and they look like they look like faded away papers. Okay. She's gonna try her best. Actually, you know what she's gonna do? She's gonna put down paper and oh, uh, sketch smart. over it to get the etchings on her uh, paper, so that she can take it with her and inspect can you, it. Can you read? Like, it, it, sorry, just to check as well. The first one, upon looking at it, do, can you tell what language it is? I have. I was about to say that I. Yeah. She hasn't looked at it yet. She's just. Sketching I, I over want it. to look at. Okay. After oh, okay. she records it for posterity's sake, oh, she will okay, then inspect okay. it with her eyes. How he's like. <laughs> how he's like back seating his chin over your shoulder, <laughs> like. Huh? Huh? I must see what the languages you've chosen. One second. I can DM you if you'd like. Oh please. Uh, Howie, you are unfamiliar with the language. Ah. It just looks like weird and strange symbols and letters that have just scattered about. Um, yeah, feel free to, to DM me. This is secret knowledge. Thank you. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Olive, you are unfamiliar with the... Uh, with the language on the mm, script. Okay. However, the language that you do know, this seems to be a, hmm, what's the best way to describe it? This is an offshoot of that. Like okay. you, you you could definitely tell some of the phonics, uh, a little bit of the word placement as it's scattered around the paper. Okay. So it's definitely something simple. Um, okay. Actually, it is,
the language. Hold on, I'm doing a thing. Mm -hmm. I have to actually think about this. Hmm. I can comprehend languages if anyone needs. All right, so of the language that you do know, which I will not reveal, um, this seems to mm -hmm. be an offshoot of that. Mainly more, it's a it's a baseline language, the language that you know. Okay, um, so for her, she doesn't even remember what she knows. So for her, it probably just looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, like, okay, that yeah. works. Right. Yeah. Like she so, probably feels like, huh, I recognize this. Like, 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 like you could probably piece- Like I can piece, almost read it. Yeah, you could piece some words together here and there. Like you could make okay. some rough estimates and guesses, but yeah, you, you are unable to read this. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this looks very familiar. Like, I can almost understand it. Mm, I can totally understand it. Oh, it's what's perfect. it say, Mr. Howie? I'll, I'll need some time to think it over. <laughs> <clears throat> Ollie, do you need help reading something? Oh, yes, please. Can you read this? I can. Um, can I cast... Uh, Comprehend languages? Oh, I was moved back. Um, uh, yeah, because I saw you move forward. Your token moved. Oh, forward. if you're moving forward, I have to. I have to advance that you're. I have to pretend that you're moving forward. And I, if you bump, I anything. don't want to like. I feel bad like interrupting. Like, are you everyone, moving forward? Like, she she would be she would be moving forward like constantly. Uh, okay. I was just trying to slow it down. No worries. Um, Fred, I'm gonna go ahead and Fred pause here. No, it's all good. I'm <laughs> pausing here because we are now advancing over to what Kopi's doing. So Kopi, Send him solo, man. Send him to his death. Yeah, you're good. Uh, go ahead and advance forward, Kopi, if that's what you're doing. Uh, we've already done everything here. As you watch this, Kof uh, Kopi, you just navigate around um, until you finally arrive to this scene. As you go over to the corner and the shattered eggs that are scattered all about, curious of what the creatures are, you see one that is actually familiar to you. The obsidian Vrock that you faced off before, um, except this one is different. It is the same species of that bird-like devil that you faced off. And you would see the instructor of the uh, of the oh, academy no. that was there, who seems to be unconscious. Unconscious? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, shit. oh shit. You will, you okay. will watch as, as, as her followed unconscious. You will hear a scream and common echo uh, off into the area. As one of them will say, and just kind of echo, and you're the only one that would hear this. Bring her to the collector. <laughs> You'll be rewarded for this. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. you'll just and you'll watch as she <clears throat> will. Sorry for the sound effect, guys. You'll watch as she is uh, her unconscious body snatched up by this uh, by this the, this 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 devil, this creature, with a heavy flap of the wings. <laughs> You'll watch as uh, this and the others will fly they up. Her? Oh, They're fuck. flying up because you're in the middle of a chasm currently. Um, will fly up over there. It's not the same uh, creature that you fought before, but of the same species. You'll then watch a smaller version of these creatures begin to wander around um, as this devil will flap down over here and land uh, down in front of them. And you'll just slowly hear them <laughs> as they begin to laugh and feast on what appears to be um, a creature that has been deceased. Uh, all right, what are you doing, Kopi? Uh, <laughs> well, Kopi's not stupid. <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> well, mutter. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Continue, Kopi. Oh, well, for fuck's sake. She starts, like, dragging back this way. All right. To kind of, like, peek her head over uh, towards it. And as she, you look, yeah, as you look around the corner, you'll see everyone studying within the temple. She yells out. Um, oh, God. What would she yell out, though? <laughs> Guys! As you scream, guys, you'll hear off into the uh, over to the west. What was that? 
<laughs> uh, oh, as God. they will begin to flap oh. over to the sound of the scream. At this point, she's not I will fully be... smart. She's kind of stupid. I am going to go ahead <laughs> and fully roll. small. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead, and now we've entered a high stress slash combat scenario, and we'll be busting <laughs> out the initiative tracker. Okay. Uh, I will also uh, be rolling. Uh, the everyone in the temple will also hear the sound of guys, and then you'll also hear the screeches of this this loud um, creature, whatever's out there in the north. Um, so let me go ahead and roll all this. And then she screams out once again. I'm gonna need a little help. All right. What did you do? Oh, nothing is fine. You know, if you guys come over here, you, well, we can take them out easily. All right. Uh, before we continue, uh, let's go ahead and take, uh, because uh, combat slash high stress is about to begin. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a small uh, five minute break. Kind of give well, you guys the opportunity to get a, get a drink of water, use the restroom, all that fun stuff. And, uh, and yeah, we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. And, and... Second? Hello, Ionians. We wouldn't have Niobers without our Patreon, so I wanted to let you know what we have to offer. By joining our Patreon, you're doing more than just supporting the streamed campaigns of IO. You're also supporting a brand new tabletop startup with IO Publishing and getting great value because of it. Join gives you immediate access to MP3s of previous sessions, premier access to content featured on the IOverse, including tokens for your virtual tabletops, and early access to music created exclusively for the IOverse. But also, you get access to professionally made 5e content, custom encounters, mechanics, subclasses, and more, available in professionally made digital PDFs for use in your own 5e systems, including the world's greatest role-playing game. Before you decide, why not give it a try? We have free content available, including a map of the Shattered Planet of Io and immediate access to our custom Rackling race, along with four Rackling lineages, all with beautifully crafted, professionally made art. What are you waiting for? Sign up today at patreon.com slash world of Io or type exclamation mark Patreon in the chat right now to get a link. Thank you to everyone who has supported the Patreon. We'll be right back.
Hey, we're back. Hello, everyone. Hello. Let's see. Hello. Let's, let's see what's about to happen here, cause ee, ee, ee. um. <laughs> one one second. I have to update something. You. And. Token names and character sheet names are different things, and that's poopy butts. Uh, so yeah, it's a mm. Brock and Brock Youngling. Uh, so it is of the same species as that uh, ostrich devil that you faced off before uh, at the oh, keep no. and there. Oh. So it's, it's the same kind of species. Uh, and this is where they come from. Congratulations. Yay. We learn new oh, things. Yay. <laughs> it's so yeah, long next though, right? Yeah, they got big old long necks. Damn. They got these. <laughs> They're evil then. They, it they, tracks. Oh. They got this. Wait, what does it mean that tracks? Where are you getting this from? Wait, if earlier they, in the campaign, long, longer than next, so more thing. evil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, God, I didn't even remember that. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay. I will begin. Uh, so, QB, I'll unpause here. Uh, Here's the series of events that happen. You're about to come over here to use comprehend languages and just then you hear it scream off to the north. Hey, hey guys. And then you hear, you just kind of hear this as it just like screams and echoes off over to the north. Something is definitely happening. Um, but what your character would do is up to you. Uh, but it is your turn in this high stress TM situation. Uh, I can't see my character. Do I need to refresh? You need to zoom out or something. Oh, it's a big map. Now I can see. Map is huge. It was black. Okay. Um, I so still, I can, I heard it. Is that, I heard you her heard, scream. You heard, hey guys. And then you heard that screech off to the north. Oh no. Kobe got herself into trouble. Um, I think she would try to go find her. All right, it is your round. Make sure you're following the same movement restrictions in this. Okay. I stress um, scenario. So I'll go up to here. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Mage Armor. Uh, you actually still have your Mage Armor on because it hasn't even been eight hours. Oh, sweet. Then I guess I'll do another. <laughs> I'll do another movement then. Okay. Um, try to get there faster. I'll go up here. Oh, and I could do it again? Wait, you guys said I could somehow do 90 feet. That is, oh, uh, so as a cunning action, you can dash, and then as an action, you can dash, which means you can you can dash twice, allowing you to move 30 feet twice again, oh. so, yes. Yeah, 90. Okay. So your bonus action, dash, and then you're spending your action to dash as well, correct? Sure, yeah. Okay. So I'll go up there. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's my, well, uh, can I investigate? Like, can I, would I recognize that screech noise or anything? An investigation or, well, you've already used your action and bonus action to move, so no, you cannot. Oh, okay. Your action okay, economy is spent. <sighs> All right. Uh, oh. Oh, can I call out to her from here? Would she yes. hear me? Yes, you can. Talking is a free Ooh, action. Uh, okay. Copia, what's going on? Uh, well, I found a few friends, you know, uh, they won't be a big deal because, uh, you know, with all of you helping out, uh, we'll take them out easily. You squint <laughs> to see the rest of your party deep within the temple. <sighs> She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. As you'll just watch as this, uh, this, <clears throat> well, you don't see anything. You just hear the screeches off in the corner. Uh, let me also get... Udo Bobento, please. They look really weak, but you know, I, I can't really pick up my spear that well right now. Uh, oh God. I gotta make this grid heavy. Uh, how about, Papa Ga? There we go, that's a little better. I can kind of see what that, cool. One moment, please. Oh, ho, ho. <clears throat> so yeah, you kind of watch, you, you ever see like vultures 
um, when they're like on the street about to pick at a carcass and they kind of like hop around a little bit, not fly. They just kind of do little hops. That's what these rocks are doing. They're just kind of like hopping over, uh, hanging over o- over to you currently. All right, so that was the move. Uh, I could do... Uh, you'll watch as this rock youngling takes a defensive position. Hey. Opie. Oh, I just realized we never leveled up. That's nope. correct. You haven't completed your long rest. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. And you've also you're also still injured from the last fight. <laughs> you have one rage remaining. So I'm definitely gonna save that. Um. So uh, because of how heavy. How the, bad am I? It, uh. Did, tell me. Tell me, Doc. How bad is it? It's. It's not good, my friend. Uh. So. Uh. Because you are without spirit, the armor itself is particularly heavy. Uh. Your movement speed has been lowered by five feet. In addition to that, your attacks with the spear uh, will be made at disadvantage. That does not okay. include the ordeal penalties that you are currently suffering. <laughs> That ain't good. It is now uh, your turn, Kopi. Kopi is gonna uh, hold her position, mm-hmm. and uh, she's going to take a uh, ready stance uh, to react to anything that comes to her to attack. Can I do that? Yeah. So you're preparing a attack. I'm preparing uh, an attack. There, there you go. That's the yeah. right wordage. Yeah, you're good. This will spend your reaction as well when you go for the attack. Um, all right, so if anyone gets within melee ra- or gets within the range of your spear, uh, which is 10 feet, you're going to go ahead and do a stabby stab. Yep. Okie dokie. <laughs> As you just hear the, uh, the, 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 the patriarch, the matriarch? Certain. Uh, but the larger one will begin to, uh, flock on over. Um, also, I'm going to do a check here. Um, and okay uh this uh i will also same thing this this larger rock begins to hop around over turning around the corner uh and we'll also assume hence of stance Okay, up oh. goes. Uh, you hear the flap of some wings. I'm gonna go ahead and do a th- do a quiet thing. You'll watch as this one fly, uh, kind of flies on over. Oh my god, actually, this is flight. We're getting... yeah, like right about there. That one will not take a defensive stance as you watch the rock fl- um, fledgling flying over and slowly landing upon the wreckage of or the, the ruined uh, shells. Tontu, it's your turn. Tontu? You're hearing a lot of commotion off to the north. Yeah, I mean, hearing being the keyword. Yes. <laughs> um, Absolutely hearing. Tontu will run 30 and then dash 30. Little Tontu begins to run out. Stop forward. to take a breath. <laughs> anything, with your, <laughs> anything with your bonus action? I can't even fucking see, dude. No, I'm good. Epic. Uh, here we go. Another big old flappy flap. Oh, this one is gunning. You'll watch as this one speeds on over and just lands down looking at you. <laughs> Staring you right at you. Shut up! You're so loud. Reno. <laughs> All right. Let's... Fifty. Gonna walk up. Oh um. God. Um. Eh, that's it. Yep. Uh, Olive. Um, Olive is going to look all around her and then reluctantly look where the yell came from and then look at Howie for guidance <laughs> and she can tell she really just wants to keep analyzing things. What do? Uh, <laughs> Howie would look at her and say 
Well, we can both comprehend that language. We best go help Kobe. <sighs> okay, Mr. Howie. <laughs> Christmas will happen tomorrow. <laughs> uh, she'll use her movement and action dash to get up to here. Okay. Sounds good. F. Hearing the screech, uh, we'll kind of shudder a little bit before he goes. Very well, then. And as he slowly walks That's up. That's the vagrant. Ah, oh, he can do better than that. That's a mean title. As he walks, <laughs> as he walks up <laughs> over, he'll take a deep breath. Then he'll, uh, he'll state. It's been, been quite a while since I've done this. Sorry if I'm a bit rusty. And he begins to sing uh, uh, a beautiful serenade of his, of his land, of silver oh, soil. Ooh. He is a bard. I thought he was bluffing. <laughs> and it's all through uh, as... Uh, there you go. Kept the bard. Olive, <laughs> be a Olive um, <laughs> QB, and Remo gain a bardic inspiration. Yo, I don't know what that means. I've never Yeehaw. played with a bard. Uh, oh my god, you've never played with the bard. Wait, you've You've kind of played with the bard with the... Tomato wasn't a real bard. <laughs> uh, it means what's... that you, you get a 1d8 to add to any failed roll or save. 1d6 in this case, uh, but yes. So you, can, so you have a, you, your hand a token that says, hey, spend me for a 1d6 to your roll. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> and with that, you realize that Kef is not a vagrant, but in fact, a bard. Oh, he classed up. There Hell yeah, Kef. I feel like we should have kept him as a vagrant for a few more levels to maximize his stats, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Kef the self-employed. Uh, Howie. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, big flaps. Uh, bonus ac uh, action dash more flaps. Dust my turn. Yo, that's pretty pog. Everyone's at... How long does your temporary hit points last? There was no timer to the temp hit points. No timer already, until the depleted, yeah. As far as we were aware. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Isn't that For, fair? Forever. D I mean, Might want to introduce one, Brett. <laughs> I mean, if it don't give a time, that's how, <laughs> that's how it it's works. It's really OP, bad. though. Yeah. It's OP. I mean, it's, it gets weaker and weaker as time goes on, because yeah. obviously... Ten temporary hit points. Do like it? Yeah, no, t it's good. It's, well, considering the fact that you guys probably... It probably would have been a death by now without those. Uh, yeah, those... the effective healing of it is obscene. Every round having like 10 HP is crazy for, for uh, everyone. Yeah. Uh, QB. You feel uh -huh. QB, uh, QB, you've been get, you've gained an inspiration from the uh, serenade of Kef. Thank you, zombie brother. And she pats him on the back. I'm a, Decides. I'm of the living. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Just my complexion. Okay. <laughs> I swear okay. I'll get some more sun when we get, you know, looks around at <laughs> the, the death sun. that's everywhere when there is one. <laughs> okay. To there? I don't. Let me measure how far this is far away. Um. I think I'll hang out here for now. And. Okay. Is battle. So, uh. Poppy, are you starting battle with those geese? Uh, no, they started with me. Uh, they're trying to to kill me, I think. So hungry, bro! Oh, eat me, eat me, not me? kill me. Oh, okay. I'm going to um, eat your face, bro! I'm oh. going to eat my face? Gives you a thumbs up. His uh, neck is so long. Actually, okay. these ones have a shorter neck because they're younglings. Ah, babies. Oh. So long, though. Can't be trusted. Yeah, it's longer than your neck, though. <laughs> okay. I think I should shoot them then based on that. Guys, have um, you noticed that QB's neck's a bit long? No, it's I not. Mean, You're lying. Yeah. QB is incredibly <laughs> untrustworthy, <laughs> though, so it checks Kantu out. Kantu doesn't have a neck. <laughs> I kind of have a neck. <laughs> uh, no. Kobe no, doesn't you're... have a neck. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait. Howie doesn't have a neck. Wait, Olive has a bit of a neck. 
Let's no. Check now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot. I'm going to aim for his neck. Um, can the I shoot this long. guy? Yeah, Your feel free to attack. Your neck is long. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, that will miss. Do 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 I get inspiration though? Oh, you said you were spent. I knew you were saying something. Uh, would you like to spend your inspiration? <laughs> can Bardic I? inspiration? Yes, you can. Roll a one d six, okay. please. D six. Oh, which of these is a six? It's the six? square. Oh. The square. Square. Uh oh, I did too many times. Uh, enter. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're good. Do you see the? Uh, there it is. Perfect. A fifteen. <laughs> Strikes true against the youngling. Uh, uh, whose face a... is eating today? She says, while defiantly swinging her bow. Uh, the Brock, terrified of you, now believes you're going to attempt to eat its face. But it is an eat face, eat world. So uh, that'll be eight <laughs> points of damage dealt as the arrow strikes. Your inspiration spent. Okay. I am going to use my bonus move to try to hide. All right. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. As once again, oh. I missed a... <laughs> <laughs> I can see you, you idiot. Uh, and you'll watch yeah. it. You'll watch as the rock youngling smirks, gaining an inspiration. Oh, I don't like him. I guess I'm done. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, let me see here. Um, <clears throat> it'll slowly approach. Yep. Uh, it'll maintain its defensive position. Opie. What well, are you afraid? Oh, you want you don't want to come up to me, huh? You can come over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Funny that he's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Actually, uh, hmm. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, this is bad. Um, well, I'm gonna, do a, I'm gonna do a fate roll because something else might. Okay, you're good. You can still rage. Hmm, it's 15 for that. I rolled a, uh, you know a nine or lower, Actually, I would have made it so that you couldn't rage. I see. Um, well. The party is still kind of like behind There's, her they're, and they're she's, approaching, yeah. she's gonna just again ready an attack. Okay. Attack uh, <clears throat> being ready. Yep. Stand aside, children. <laughs> and you'll watch as he this thing will flap down. Uh it will be fifteen feet in the air. Oh, lapping great. over and it'll look down uh, upon you uh, and give as it's as it's looking down a stunning screech oh as it screams out Aah! please give me a constitution save you succeed the youngling will also have to make a constitution saving throw oh it hits them too <laughs> It succeeds as well. Damn it. Uh oh. All right. And that's the end of that. The youngling. Uh, ooh, here we are. They'll flap on over. Hmm. It'll flap over here. Remain 10 feet in the air and will assume a defensive position. Uh, it looks like all of these are uh, got, you see, uh, let me see what you can see. Uh, yeah, so uh, QB, you can watch as the rocks are slowly advancing on up, up on uh, uh, Kopi as if they're all about to dive in uh, on oh Kopi. Oh my gosh. Tontu. Uh, Tontu will measure out okay yeah he'll run and then dash to get up behind Kopi. oh that 
that's not good. Well, aren't you delightful? <laughs> He'll lift his shield up. All right. Any uh, action or bonus action you'll be taking? Uh. <laughs> I guess, let's see. Why well, my action was to dash. Um, it was? I, yeah, because that's 35 really, move. He doesn't have oh, a lot of yeah, movement. Oh yeah, 35, you need that extra five feet. I see you're doing, yeah, I'm it's little. your action. Sorry, I like 50 feet of movement um, kind of skews no, perception. because my channel divinity is my action, so. All right. Um. That's it. My turn. All right. Can't wait anymore. The rock will charge down. Uh, this will provoke your reaction if you wish to take it. I have to deal with a disadvantage, right? Correct. You will have to do a control click. Okay. The spear is heavy as you attempt to strike at the rock youngling. It deflects it with ease. And then, using its inspiration, uh, it will attack. it will strike at you. Uh, it will first attack. Uh, let's see. Taking a look. Look. Uh, yes. Uh, it's going to dive down with its talons on inspiration. Uh, a 14, I believe, uh, does not break your armor class. It just uh, <laughs> is just underneath it. And then it'll strike with its beak, also missing. <laughs> Remo. Uh, by the way, no, no yaddy yaddy for me because I don't have my spirit. That yeah, kind of oh, sad, yeah. honestly. Um, Brett, As you how tall is this rock? This, oh, the rock? This rock right here on the ground. I'd say a couple of feet. Like, could I use it as a stepping stone to this one 10 feet in the air? Did, wait, what are you trying to do? I want to, well, I don't know, attack the one in the air, possibly. Jump at it off the rock or something. Oh, from that rock, you know, yeah, like that. jump up the stepping, st not the one directly oh, next to me. Oh, that no. one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah yes, one, one. yes. If you stand <laughs> on that you, rock, what did you think I was gonna do on top I, of that? I, I thought like, you were. I thought you were like, gonna I'm do gonna like the space jam, off. like dunk, <laughs> where you like, jump and I just hurt myself like a wrestler. <laughs> I was, I was gonna lol know you, but yes, you could uh, okay. absolutely go over there, do like a come here, you, and then just yeah, jump I wanted up to like and run up the rocks and punch it or something. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I definitely thought you were Space Jam slam dunking that shit. <laughs> 20, uh... I was like, I know you're a monk, but come on. Uh, boop. Oh, wait, that's too many. That's 50. Wait. How do I undo? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> whatever's to... gonna happen is... <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Try another. Trying to, it's it's mad at me. It knows that I use that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, you can still stuff. move. It's just like, okay, like cool. you can't. Be, they're it's like, this is some. One hundred and forty. Yeah, it's like this is some Whatever. bullshit you're doing. <laughs> Fifty feet of movement, moving punch, run up the rock, uh, jump and punch the one high up. That'll hit seven points of damage. Okay, and then regular punch. Uh, that will also hit for 10 points of damage. Your strike. And then right bonus injury. attack punch. Uh, that will also hit as you just are just like, ha! ha jump you're up just, bop, bop, bop. You're just uh, doing uh, some, you're doing some flips in the air as your punch kick punch and then landing down. Yeah, exactly. Doing some Smash yeah, Brothers shit. Tanky, you you <laughs> severely undersold these. All these right. babies are tough. That ends yeah, your round, Remo. Yeah, that's me. A disappointed olive. It is now your turn. All right. Um, where can I get? Do, do, do. Here. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, now that I can see the action, I would like to uh, Sacred Flame this top one. Okay. Ooh. Two. Is today a sacred flame <laughs> or a sacred oh. flame? Oh, man. <laughs> Not so lame. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I can't believe this. These guys are so toxic. You can turn around and go the other way. <laughs> no, no <laughs> meat on your bones. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> She's 
just. I never knew out. the Shadow Realm would be so cartoonishly evil. It's like Dude, the Shadow Realm was just like dissing us. Start the session, Onin. I was like, this is Dark Souls, and now end of session, I'm like, this I'm is. I'm going to wacky your races. Face. <laughs> yeah. They just want to diss us. It's insulting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's psychological damage, and it's it working. is. Yeah. It's probably scary. Yeah. Probably scary. Uh, you'll watch as uh, F will slowly like wander on over, hobbling with it with his his bad leg. And he'll look over. Uh, he looks ahead off into the field and takes a deep breath. Uh, oh boy, they seem to be in a bit of trouble. See over there. Uh, and uh, da, da, da. One second. Gosh. Kef is such an innocent old man. He is not <laughs> Are you yet. assuming that he's old? He's no. old? I know he is. He's five years old, Benj. <laughs> That's a child. He looks so much older. <laughs> I'm in the 10th just... grade. At least 10 years old. <laughs> I'm in the 11th. <laughs> I'm 16 and a half years old. <laughs> You can't buy booze. <laughs> Can you oh please buy me some booze? <laughs> oh, mom, won't, mom won't let me drink the wine. All right, anyways. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> uh, you will watch as this uh, primal magic uh, will burst forth from Kef, casting healing word upon no. Yo, he's like a real. Pi Never mind. Uh <laughs> I was gonna be like literally stealing my job, but then no, I saw like that a real shit. Party right. member, psych. <laughs> you guys are trash. used to. You wait, guys wait, are used to healers. You're used right? to clerics who take the uh, that take the the, the freaking healing domain. Mm -hmm. This is what yeah. he. This this is what healing word actually <laughs> looks level like. This guy one. Yeah, this is what healing word oh. actually looks like, guys. It's okay, a D4. it's literally like. Wow, yeah. one, that's terrible, but the best it could be is a four. Oh I mean, oh, all, healing our word all, our, healing all our healers turn. have been replaced by RE anyway. What are we yeah. talking about? Yeah, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. automation. All have lost their job <laughs> on <laughs> episode two, what dude. Fuck? Um, Sorry, it's the future. Uh, <laughs> actually, you would have healed for uh, four, not uh, one. So there you huh? go. Uh, nice. Ability score uh, gets added uh, to healing word, and there was no ability score attached. I thought he was just shit. I'll be honest. I was like, guys, I mean, plus zero. All right. Yeah, it's slightly better. It's slightly. I'll, say, better. I'll take it. I'll take it. Slightly better. All right, that'll end that. Howie. Shit. Um, let me check my spell book. Nope. We're empty, folks. He's gonna flap on over. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize how bad it was. I only thought it was one. Yeah, no, so did I. Then I showed and up. And they're tanky. <laughs> Way tankier Whoa. than advertised. Was Welcome like, to the danger zone. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Wacky racers. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he should have. He should have. Um, <laughs> shit. I literally have nothing but fireballs. It will shoot a fireball. Oh, one? Oh. No. Hey, Patrick! <laughs> As a no. fellow youth, I also rolled a one. Uh, I did like 20 one. something damage in one. One? All right. Uh, one second, please. Uh, the one is halved and it deals no damage. Oh. It rounded that, down. Did that come out right? <laughs> You'll just watch as the spark just kind of pss, uh, uh, upon the, uh, the youngling. I didn't like the, the haptic feedback there. You'll be That's my I think that's literally my turn actually. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. You'll yeah. get it next time, Mr. Howie. There you Thank go. you, Cab. <laughs> Not his name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> QB, it's your turn. <laughs> that's cool. These guys have been talking a lot of a lot of uh, Goose dropping. Dung. So, yes, <laughs> thank you. So I am going to teach them a lesson. And she pulls out her short, but she's gonna aim for the, the higher one. Oh, wait, oh, wait, what is what's what was your stealth that you rolled? 
Uh, you, you said you were going to stealth. I'm oh, that's better. right. You. Oh yeah, that's you, right. You, this is how it all began because you mocked and said, <laughs> "I can steal you." Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, they've, said, they've said a lot of stuff, okay? I can't keep trying it all of them. There's four of them, for God's sake. Come on. I'll be doing I'll be character dude. <laughs> okay, I'll aim for the guy on the top and shoot. Yay! Uh, that will hit, dealing six points of damage. Because there is a, uh, a friendly five feet away, you can go ahead and roll sneak attack. Ooh. Hey, there we go. I told you your neck was long. All okay. right, maybe we can settle it down a little bit. <laughs> can can I attempt to stealth again, or can I not? Because I rolled so low. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can attempt it again. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, better. <sighs> okay, I'm done. Uh, this young link will. You're, oh, that's the. Well, uh, fly down. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna fly down over here, landing on the side, and it's gonna go ahead and attack Kopi with its talons that misses, and its beak, which strikes true for six points of damage. Interception. Looks, looks at Tantu. Tantu will raise his shield and jump. Uh, you block the nine damage. You block the beak in its entirety. No damage is dealt to Kopi. Thanks, Tantu. Kopi, it's your turn. Okay, Do we know? Um, well, uh, it's time to rage with my pathetic self right now. Um, Can you even rage, Sad? Oh wait, actually. Um, hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I got nothing else. I got a rage, dude. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to attack the one in front of me. Okay. And she's going to, like, really struggle to pick up that spear with both of her arms and just pathetically try to strike. All right. Ooh. Oh, God, it was... That sucks. That will miss. Uh, don't. F oh wait, never mind. Okay, does that end your round? Uh, yes. I keep my rage though, right? Because I attacked. Yes, you do. That's all that matters, I guess. The frock will fly over you, still hovering fifteen feet in the air. Uh, I will keep flying. Um, can I reach that or no? Oh, no, you cannot. That, huh? Yeah, it's staying uh, specifically over your area. And then the frogs <laughs> will land. <laughs> and then will release out surrounding itself in a circle of spores. <laughs> blocking the rest of the way through. Oh. Uh, this rock will continue to strike over at Remo. Uh, we go in for the talons. Uh, Remo, I think your AC is a 17. Yep, that misses. Yeah. That hits for 11 uh, points R. of damage. Um, um, I'm out of combat recovery. Fuck, we're still tapped. Tontu. Um, Tontu will, after blocking the attack from the, the I'm assuming it landed. Uh, yeah, you watched it as it landed over there, and then with a puff of, of, of spores, just... Oh, sorry, I mean the one that attacked Kopi. Uh, this yes! One. Yes, it, it, it is. If it doesn't have a number above it, that means it's not in the air. Okay, he'll he'll hop in the air and attempt to bonk it on the beak with his, with his club. Okay. A 22? Uh, that strikes true for 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage and you will also heal for a hit point as the oaken Cute. life giver warhammer will begin to grow uh, emanating some healing magic 
and he'll say, get back, you. As you're just kind of watching it flap over uh, in front of you, uh, the youngling uh, will continue its strike uh, or against Opie. Uh, that will hit, but I'm now 15. I'm 15. And now it'll be at half damage, though. So good, good on that rage. The beak will go striking true for another five points of damage. I'll block the beak. Oh my God! Let's see it. With interception. Mm. Uh, the beak deals no damage. Wow. Freaking goaded Tontu. Remo. All right. Uh, the younglings surround you. I am going to once again climb up the rock and punch the one that is flying in the air. <laughs> so I notice now that it has the dodge action? It, yeah, it's, it's, that's, a, that's an old token. Okay. It no longer has the dodge action. It's been fighting you guys full. That will miss. Fuck. All right. Um, you are exhausted as the ordeals do weigh I heavy upon you. I want to my key. Yeah, fuck it's, it. All right. Your One last more punch. key point? <laughs> my last key point on a punch, and then I heal to myself with the and the healing. All right. You heal for three. Uh, plus two. Five, two. Oh, no, two. Yeah. Five. Uh, you heal for an additional two. Your Fuck strike dude, is I'm true, tapped. healing for a uh, dealing seven points of damage. The Brock Youngling appears to be starting to to appear weakened. You'll see it actually begin to back up a little bit as if. It's hey, man, this is why I need mobile. I need my free punch. Can we sleep? It's gonna, yeah, it's as if it's attempting to retreat. All of it's your turn. A, po a pile right. of store, a spore surround you, or surround mm. this area. Is there anything I can do about that? Um... Damn, not really. Um, okay. You can well... see through the spores, just FYI. Okay. Um, how is everyone for healing? Everyone looks okay right this very moment. I'm yeah. doing all right. I might okay. not be in a second. Okay. Um. For now, I could do. Where is it? Um. Yeah, I guess I will just do a heal on Remo for now. Okay. Like Sinon that. Kef? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight Sorry, up. Sorry, Kev. Very impressive, Miss Olive. Thank you. Hmm. Um, and that will end me turn. Kef will <laughs> continue <laughs> this hobble. He'll look in through the uh, spores, the rock staring over at Kef. And you'll see a little bit of hesitation and used to move around. He looks at past the spores and will uh, once again offer his support where he can and will heal uh, Kopi this time. Kopi, you heal for six health. Wait a minute, he's keeping up. Owie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you sound very distant. Oh, uh, hi. Now you're now um, you're here. Hi. All right, I'm gonna flap him, the wings that is. Mhm. Mm then I'm gonna flap there and then go up uh, another five feet, uh, ten feet actually. Okay. Um, and then I am going to try and shoot this guy again with a fireball. Okay, let's see it. Nice. It does no damage. Wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, we haven't rested yet. Okay, that's all I can do. Okay. Oh, Top of the boy. round. QB. Uh, do you guys want me to finish off that guy or attempt to finish off the top guy or to shoot this guy with the spores? Uh, I would say finish off, but I mean, uh, it's up to you ultimately. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll try to shoot the guy up there. 
Uh, a 14 is insufficient. Oh. Um, okay. I guess I'll move, um, what's boogies? I'll go right. I think I can't do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> One second, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, I have to do. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right. Next up is the youngling. Uh, who is just sick and tired of attacking Kopi only be blocked by this this tiny little rackling so it turns attention over to Tatu and begins to strike at the tiny rackling uh, that'll miss and mm. that will miss Kopi. he's too Damn. little and he's too nimble he's too nimble <laughs> yeah weak or weak okay. um doesn't it have disadvantage since it's in like the, the oh wait no I have to hit them that's right never Correct. mind Kopi. Okay, um, well, I can't... Uh, actually, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> again, pathetically attacked. <laughs> There's All nothing right. I can do. <laughs> no, I'm gonna attack the one that's in, uh, that's in front of me, because I'm, I'm thinking that Remo can take out the other one. This one? Or wait, the next one is. Uh, would I be able to technically reach that one since my I can uh, use my spear for ten feet? Or the top one is fifteen feet away from you and ten feet in the air, so it's technically about. Well, I mean, there's an actual number to it that Benji knows, uh, but no, you can't. It's it's too far I, away. I can't hit it. Okay. Well, no, as in like if I move one up, will I be able to hit it? It's ten feet in the air. You'd have to be uh, about five. You'd have to be be in a five foot square next to it. Uh, I see. Okay, then uh, maybe it's best I don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna attack the one that's in front of me. Okay. It's 18 yeah. feet. <laughs> it's like I know Benji has the number. Ah! Uh, that'll miss. Um. Hmm. As a as a bone, uh, do do I have like a bonus action that I can do to to maybe uh, uh like call out to my spirit or would that be an action uh, that's uh talking's a free action scream out and do whatever you'd like okay um I, but if you'd I, like yeah, to here. if you'd like to f specifically focus to try and like attune the spirit over to you and you'd like to spend your action to do that uh you are free to do that as well if you're just yelling to yell that's free but if you are making the effort to try and either locate would that the be an spirit action action or a bonus action i'll allow, I'll allow a bonus action for that Okay. Well, uh, I will definitely try that then. Attempt that. All right. Tell me how you do it. Describe the scene to me. Uh, Kopi will realize that she's really pathetically <laughs> not able to do anything. Um, she's going to uh, call out to Zara the Bold uh, and say, um, Zara the Bold, I need your help. Where are you? Please come back to me. All right. I forget it. Uno momento. Go ahead and give me a wisdom check. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. Oh. -ho. One moment, please. <laughs> okay. You feel as if there is like this spiritual link, this chain coming from you. As if as as if you attempt to call and cry. You feel your spiritual bond and your strength slowly returning 
still insufficient at this point. But okay. maybe something may happen in four rounds' time. Okay. But that is then. it for now, then. Yeah. Done. Yep. Okay. Of rock in the middle of this spore. Uh, Olive, you'll begin to hear. <laughs> as you'll watch as the spores will absorb uh, into where uh, the rock is located. As these mm. spores absorb in, you'll see the claws and beak now dripping with this toxic poison. Oh. As oh, the, God. as the, and, and that's the, uh, that's the last thing you see before it dives over to you and attacks. All right. All of you got a 17 AC. You got a good shot at this. That hits. <laughs> oh, you boy. had a good shot at it, man. Yeah, 13 oh, points of damage man. and deals an additional two points of poison damage from the okay. toxic dripping off its fingers, off its okay. talons. The beak will stab in an attempt to impale you. Still hitting. Okay, well. 11 points of damage, but also dripping with the poison. Another two. Okay. You shall be my meal today. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, this rock uh, is going to uh, take the... What's the word I'm... One moment, please. There it is. Uh, take the disengage action. Begin to. I don't walk. think he needs to. In ten. Oh, he's ten feet you're up, right. And I've been climbing up. Oh, that's true. Round, you are correct. So, uh, so he's hit, nearly in my hitbox. JK, he flies up 120 feet and leaves the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Okay, Tontu. Um, Tontu will again. Bonk this one on the beak. Okay. But Jeez. miss. That will be a miss. Uh, this you've is a... getting kind of dire. <laughs> you've got a uh, bonus action remaining. Um. I don't know if there's anything you can do or anything you'd like to do. Is Olive in trouble? Uh, yeah. Might yeah. Be. You're watching as this rock is currently like slashing her up and stabbing her. Tonto will, he overswings and like loses his balance. And as he turns, his body turns, we'll see Olive in trouble and he will run all the way over here. <laughs> and provoke an attack of Op. And mm. a miss. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Um,. I will, as a bonus action, uh, where is it? Is it, Ma yeah, Mark of the Martyr. All I'll right. Mark of the Martyr, uh, this enemy in front of me. Okay. Um, so, uh, you rally your allies to strike true upon a foe you can see within 10 feet using your Charm of any until the beginning of the ne your next round all creatures get advantage on attack rolls against this creature indeed and he'll indeed. just yell i'll protect you olive thank you <laughs> that's my turn okay i'm making sure i'm spelling some things correctly i did it Boom. And Ooh. The creature is now marked. Uh the youngling will Oh my gosh. I mean it is having like no luck whatsoever. Uh will turn over. Actually now I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll let the dice decide. One, uh we're attacking Kopi. Two, we're attacking Remo. Kopi it is. Uh that's a talons, which will hit. And the beak will also hit, but this will only be half damage. The 15 becomes a 7. The 11 becomes a 5. Chipping away slowly at your hit points. Remo, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I am going to 
<laughs> I'm gonna go 20 feet out. Okay. And 20 feet back in. Provoking the op. Yeah, taking the op. Uh, that, won't, that won't hit. And thank God it didn't, because woo! Three attack from 20 feet. Let's see. 15 it. to hit. I rolled it. Uh, that will be. Uh, yep, that'll hit. Nine points of damage. Right, regular attack. That'll and also hit. Eight points of damage. Bonus action attack. That'll hit 10 points of damage as you do your martial arts and begin pummeling at the rock youngling. And that's my turn. Okay. Olive, this large oh. devil is uh, hovering over you, continuing okay. its assault, continuing its strike. I am going to channel divinity balm of peace, which allows me to move without provoking opportunity attacks. Hog. Mmm. Hog. And then I'm going to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty. Here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can heal myself for it, but I would like to heal Kopi. It, it says any other creature, so not. That's you. fine. I will yeah. happily heal Kopi. Okay. Uh, that'll be for that seven hit roll. points. Wait, can I see if there were ones in that roll? There was a one. Can I re-roll it? E oh, you do you have? Are you talking about from the healer feet? Yeah. We haven't leveled. You, you yet. haven't leveled oh, yet. Fudge sickle. Okay. Yeah, we're struggling. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. Um. Okay, and then. Yeah, well, where where were you? No, no. What were we gonna do? Lay down on the ground <sighs> in this fucking barren hellscape? Like, huh? Um, Oh yeah, I guess you're right. That's my action. There's no way. Could I bonus action healing word? Yes, you can. That wasn't a spell. Okay. Um, I'm going to upcast healing word on. Should I heal myself? Probably. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you messed okay. it up on that exchange. Because I'm the healer. Okay. And if you go down, we go down. Oh my god! Big heal. There we go. Okay. End turn. All right. F, now staring upon this creature, continue slowly, just kind of like pacing around. And he'll let out a little, like a little, oh, like a little, like a little note will like, <clears throat> will escape him. Uh, granting uh, a bardic inspiration over to Tauntu. Kind of walking, trying to trying to essentially stay out of uh, out of light, try and keep out of the battle. Owie. I will once again spend a turn doing essentially nothing by probably not doing any damage. Okay. So right. I will. I believe in you. To do nothing, thank you. No. Um, I will cast wow. the firebolt <laughs> spell. What the fuck? Not mm. hitting anything. It's not it. Okay, not it, it's you. you know, we like, no, did, did it. I, I, did my expectations were met. Assuming you're targeting oh, this same, same one, guy, correct? top yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. He will. Uh, with that, yeah. will give out a menacing grin, gaining uh, inspiration. If Artie was here, I'd be fine. And then ends his turn. Okay. Yubi, top of the round. Okay. Uh, do you guys want me to to hit the guy who's almost dead? I keep say, I shouldn't say that because last time I said that and I didn't hit at all. Just to clarify, everyone oh, has advantage right. on this guy. <laughs> it, uh, let's say that again. Until the next, you have advantage on this guy until the next time. Oh, e everyone. Okay, I'll knows. shoot him then. Okay, I'll shoot the the advantage guy. All right, I will roll the advantage for you. That will hit, dealing seven points of damage. You're applicable. Attack. attack. That'll hit Ooh. an additional 12 points of damage dealt of rock. Okay. Um, and then I'll, uh, I guess I'll attempt to stop. All right, you return back to the shadows. Hey, does that end your round? Um, I'm gonna move. I think I'll move up to uh, 
here. Okay, as a friendly reminder, because you have stealthed, uh, you can only move up to half movement speed. If you move beyond that, I'll have to have you re-roll the stealth. Oh, oh. Can I just go up to 15 then? Yes, you can. Which would be right about oh. there. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think that's all I can do. Okay. A rock. Yeah, just gonna go ahead and continue attacking Kopi. Uh, hits and a critical miss, which will allow <gasps> an inspiration to Kopi. <gasps> Dealing a total of five points of damage. Kopi. Um, Kopi's gonna... Kopi's gonna... You're gonna see visible frustration on her face, and then, uh... I'm going to start with my bonus action to call out once again uh, okay. uh, and say, uh, Zara the Bold, you ungrateful twat! I'm the one that's helping you on this journey. I need you. No, I demand your help. Craft me your strength once again to help my friends in need. Push Wisdom. Ooh, baby. Okay. You hasten the bond with Sarah the Bold as the spiritual chain pulls stronger. What would have been three rounds has now been lowered to one round. You believe your strength will regain in the next round. Yes. Ah! Happy, you going feral? <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, sh if that's the Please case, then I action. will make an attack. I will. Oh, I have a little. I have a little one knocking on my door. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Cute. Uh, so since I have inspiration, I can just do a regular roll. Correct. It, are you spending the inspiration? I need you to declare that. I. You know what? Actually. I'm as you say, by it. the way, as you, as you scream that out, on to you'll see mm -hmm. from the wall behind as a spiritual force will pierce its It walks over the rock, holding out its hand. The rock will turn over the spirit, sort of confused from what it's doing. This doesn't concern you. Go away. As it holds out its hand, gently placing a touch on the beak, you will watch as the poison washes away and absorbs into the spirit. It will then turn over Kopi to continue over to her call by the next round. Uh, Kopi, you may continue. You'll also see this as well if you're within view. Hmm, can I just walk through it? <laughs> uh, you're free to do so if you'd like. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I have 25 feet. Right. Uh, so... Oh shit, that's gonna... That's gonna trigger two attacks of opportunity. Right? Uh, yep. Um, wasn't hmm, wasn't there something about Sentinel that I'm? Uh, hold on, I'm looking at my sheet once again. Would you like me to link the Sentinel? No, I ha I have it. I have it. It's right okay. in front of me. I'm just. I'm I'm gonna link it just for chat so they can read through it as well. I see. When you hit a creature with opportunity attack, creatures approach. Like, it's just easier if they take the disengage action. Creature within five feet of you makes an attack okay, against target, then only... you can use your reaction. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, if I move to here, does that still trigger it with this guy? Um, the, the upper one? I'm just like moving down one. If it is able to take its reaction, yes. You'll be leaving this threat oh, square. I see, okay. Okay, uh, well, that's a, that's a stupid idea if I try to do this, so I'm just gonna attack. Okay. Uh, the, the, the bottom one, that is. Okay. 
Oh no, I'm gonna actually go for the top one. Never mind. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm like so uh No, okay. you're good. And you said you're spending your inspiration, Stop. correct? Oh, I guess you're not. Okay. No, I was not. I was gonna wait till next turn. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, that will miss. Okay. Just in case. Okay, I'm done. Alright. This Vrock, absolutely confused by the, the wandering spirit, uh, will attempt to strike it. The twelve will miss the wandering spirit as it will look over and seeing the poison that was once placed upon its on, on its talons and beak it shakes its head you find them i don't need the spores to kill you and then will strike its beak down uh against tantu missing tantu tantu will uh slap his butt and say no 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 he won't do that <laughs> um neener 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 <laughs> Tontu, like, can't see his allies at this point. He's just swarmed. <laughs> uh, he will, I guess, try and keep the beast's attention on him. Um, let's see. Um, we haven't rest. Have we rest? We haven't rested, correct? You have not rested yet, I'm afraid. So I don't have protective sanction. Okay, mm -hmm. I will, um, attack. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of spell slots. I will attack. Your resources are With tapped. With a nat 20. But your strike is true. Dealing 19 points of damage, you can grant inspiration to one of your party members. I will grant it to Kopi. Uh, Kopi is already inspired. You'll have to give it to someone else. Oh, I will grant fuck. it to Olive. I right. should have used it. No. Thank you. Where is Olive? Uh, just Next to me. right behind Kopi. I, I can't, I can't, uh, Olive's already got inspiration. Who would you like to give it to? Uh. <laughs> I will grant it to, uh, let's assume the only two that could see me from here would be, um, these two, right? Yeah, I'm not looking. Yeah. Um, I will grant it to QB. QB, you have Thank been... you. Given an inspiration. I'm inspired by him. Remember, you can only have one inspiration at a time, and once you complete your long rest, your inspirations are dropped. Real can smoke I use him my, if you got him situation. <laughs> can I use my bonus action to identify this as friend or foe? Uh, yeah, you can go is and it, make a it? insight check if you'd like. Okay. Only a nine. He's too yeah. preoccupied. Yeah, I'm afraid you were uncertain of it or what okay. it may end up trying to do. It's my time. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Uh, the youngling, now sensing that things are about to go awry, uh, will use the a disengage action uh, <sighs> and begin flapping up into the air. Yeah, yeah, you better run again. Anything you'd like to do, Kopi? Wait, what? I'm Isn't sorry. Disengage I'm... like a free, they just leave the tech of op or? Uh, it's true. Was it on the floor? Yeah, it, it was. was. And now it's flying up into the air. Uh, oh, it disengage okay, means then... it doesn't provoke opportunities of attack unless certain conditions are. Oh, okay, I, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um, then uh, I'd sentinel because uh, mm, there it is. Please go ahead and give me the attack. <laughs> Am I still at disadvantage though? Uh, yes, you are. Unless you'd like to spend your uh, inspiration. I guess this is where I, I spend it finally. Okay. Okay. Bam. Oh, oops. Uh, inspiration so spent. You will roll normally. That will miss. God damn it, dude. Flies up into the air like a beautiful angel. <laughs> Remo. Oh man, everybody I fuck just run. Like these guys are. It's like they're cowards. Yeah, they're... ravenous cowards or something. Gonna uh, just the drop mark. Kick this motherfucker. All right, the mark is no longer applied now that Tontu's turn has ended. Okay, uh, so how does Bardic Inspiration work? Do I spend it before or after I attack? Uh, you can spend it after. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna do my running attack. 
If that uh, misses, I'm going to Bardic Inspire. And so you shall Bardic Inspire. Roll a d6 for me, please. Is it d6 or d4? D6. Okay. Uh, okay that great. will hit dealing Thank nine God. points of damage. All right. Uh, regular attack. That oh, misses. Boy. And bonus action attack. That hits. Seven points of damage dealt. Will that end your round? Yeah, I'm done. Olive. Okay. I will try to Sacred Flame. Uh, are we changing our efforts to the one down here instead of this one? Well, that one's 60 feet in the air currently, so you're looking at like as... Uh, oh, okay. A Benji number, please. Too high. A bigger number than 60. Too high. I will hit the one that's not 60 feet. In All the air. right. Uh, the youngling or the, uh, the, the, the big rock? Big. Okay. Dexterity save. Just met. Oh, oh my god. Hmm. Then I will. Neener, neener. Ah. I'm gonna go I'm back so here. Toxic. Okay. Alright. Kef will look around to see those that have been injured. He kind of hobbles over once again. Primal magic surges forth and gives off a healing word at Kopi. Healing for seven health. Howie. Man, you guys are going to be surprised at what I've got planned. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, Is it a firebolt? This that'll little hit. fella? Uh, that'll along hit this for... guy? Oh. That'll hit for two points of damage. <sighs> That's, I mean, infinitely more than I've contributed the last three rounds. So I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that, that is my turn, Brett. And I right. would like to end my turn then through my <laughs> volition. All right. Through your volition, you've dealt, you, you've you done what you needed to do. QB. Currently, I you are will. stealthed. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to shoot this big guy here. Dang uh, it. Dang it. I forgot to use my inspiration. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> well, because you are stealthed, uh, you're attacking the big guy. The big guy does not see, see you with your stealth score. We rolled that advantage. The 15 strikes yeah. two, dealing nine points of damage. As Yay. your stealth will drop, revealing your location. You can oh. roll sneak attack if, now if you'd like as well. Okay. 11 points of damage dealt the big rock. Okay, I'll go back in to attempt to stealth again. Okay, let's see it. A 13 to stealth. That ends your round. Yes. Okay. Uh, this rock will continue to face off against Kopi, striking with its talons with a critical hit, Ooh. dealing a total of six points of damage, granting an inspiration for its fortunate strike. It will immediately spend the inspiration to attack with advantage using its beak. 18 strikes, but only dealing one point of damage. Kopi, before your turn ends, the spirit will watch over you, for it has never left you. It has been observing you the entire time. It goes from behind you as you kind of feel its cold grasp and helps lift the spear up. As it does that, you'll watch as the spear, the energy rippling of the spear, the deadly uh, power that is within it, will begin to absorb within the spirit, making your relic spear simply a magic weapon, no longer deadly. However, the spirit has learned some new tricks <laughs> that will be able to assist you in your journey from here on out. Uh, so first, I will make this an uncommon weapon again. So, bad news, you no longer do maximum damage uh, with the spear. Mm. But good ah! news, but good news, you have gained a new ability that only you are able to do with your bound, uh, with, 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 your, with yourself bound to the spirit. You have gained a new ability 
called Spiritual Bond, which you can do a number of times equal to your proficiency modifier. This allows you to apply a trait that Zero the Bold has learned during your adventures. That trait will apply to your weapon for one minute. Currently, there are two traits that Zero the Bold has learned while adventuring with you. Uh, the one bond is, of course, the deadly, so you can once again make your weapon deadly, doing maximum amounts of damage, transforming your spear into a deadly weapon. Uh, the next ability, which Zero the Bold has just learned uh, from the Vrock, is to dip your, po your spear in poison allowing you to do an additional 1d10 poison damage once per round. Oh, shit. You can only have one bound attached to your weapon at one time. And if you try to get another one, it simply overrides what you put. The spiritual... That's so fucking cool. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. The, the spirit guide will continue um, to guide you to uh, more techniques as you continue your adventure, allowing you to absorb different abilities that you'll be able to apply your spear for the minute's time. Awesome. Uh, so she'll react with, uh, so that was you. Um, and so basically, uh, I have to use a bonus action to use that. That is correct. Uh, your bonus okay, so. action will allow you to apply a bond to your weapon. You currently have two ba uh, bonds. What is the, the what is the poison bond called? Uh, so it's 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 simply called toxic bond. Um, it it, it grants your weapon uh, a poison property that deals a bonus one d ten damage once per round on a successful strike. So your spear will do one d ten damage, and uh, if you have the poison bond. Uh, and you successfully hit once per round, you'll deal 1d10 poison damage in addition to the spear's damage. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, Kopi is uh, now filled with this new power. Uh, she will once upon, uh, once again, call upon Zero the Bold officially. Mm -hmm. Zero the Bold, grant me your strength! You'll watch uh, as the spirit will hover over and with one of its extended ghastly arms, uh, will reach out with you and help you lift the spear and kind of like hold you, hold up like the back of your armor as if to, to, to assist you in the fight. Uh, then she will do a pose and then she'll throw up both of her middle fingers and say, toxic style. All right. Uh, with your with your bond placed, you'll watch as the same spores you saw the rock spread out will now cover over your spear. Uh, you'll deal an additional 1d10 points of damage if you successfully strike the creature. And then she will turn towards the big one, and she will gladly take the 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 hit from the um, guy. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, you'll, get, you'll 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 be able to run over. You can move at full speed, and you can attack um, without disadvantage. Uh, yeah, you'll watch the youngling attempts to strike at you, just missing completely. As with a with a, a feverish speed, you charge over to the rock. Uh, do I do I have to do something? Spe I only have a uh, relic spear on my attack. So. Yep. You'll you'll just uh you will go ahead and attack with that. Oh, attack with that. Okay. Yep. All right. And, uh, the sixteen and then... strikes true, and then it'll deal an additional eight points of damage with a total of fourteen points of damage. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. To the yeah, you're good to the rock, um, and yeah, it'll do. You'll just watch as the 14 damage. Just pssst, you'll watch as the the spores just kind of feverishly spread over, and uh, as you strike, you'll see the spirit run over uh, and begin to distract the rock, uh, granting the advantage, granting um, a a boo a defensive boon to the rest of your party as it usually do with spiritual guardians. Uh, at the end of your round, the rock will just kind of take a, a deep breath and just be like, This is the last you've seen of me! As it attempts to flee. Taking the disengage action, Damn it. it begins to fly away. Wait, technically, actually, 
Sentinel mm -hmm. still as a passive, I think prevents them. They cannot actually disengage. Correct. Um, so what do you do? Yeah. Oh, does that uh, mean we all can or just we happen? all can attack? Uh, no. So the no? just oh. just just FYI. So for Sentinel, um, e creatures provoke opportunity attacks from you, not from anyone else. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I am definitely going to attack. All right. We will see if you strike true. Let's see. Yeah. And with the stab of seven points of damage, uh, yeah, you're going to go ahead and watch as this thing, as you stab it through uh, its chest, it'll just kind of give a, Aah! as you just give the finishing blow, the rock attempting to flee, its body uh, will lay down motionless onto the floor. Finishing off the rock. Second. I have to change its token. Its corpse falling down onto the ground with a loud crack of its body. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, uh, yeah, th they're all, uh, the enemy is being routed currently. Uh, do you let them run, or do you pursue? I mean, they can fly. Yeah. I'm, I can't pursue. Well, this one is definitely going to go. And yeah, you just see on its next round, it's going to leave. So, Remo, if you'd like, you can go ahead and attack it before it does. <laughs> yeah, it's not leaving, dude. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Wait, hold on. Is that 5, 10, 15, 20? <laughs> Gotta get my free attack in. Uh, that Bop. hits true. Eight points Bop. of damage, nine Bop. points of damage, and there are 18 points of damage as you begin beating the living shit out of this youngling. Olive. Um, Olive is just gonna let them go. <laughs> you would. Hef takes a moment to focus his primal energy uh, and inspiring magic spent and will spend the turn trying to gain it back. Owie. Uh, okay. I mean, I literally only have one thing I can do. Will he do it? But will you do it? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. So this one's 60 feet up. Well, well, that, well, that one, down. oh yeah, that one, that one is, is dead. Yeah. I was going to say, has he fallen to the ground? Oh yeah, I mean, once he's stabbed, he just he's he's fallen okay. down. He's dead. Okay. His corpse is on the floor. Okay. Damn, no corpse incineration shenanigans. Um, I think I'll just try and shoot this guy then. Okay. And then Tontu will go next because I think his turn got skipped. Yeah, my turn. Uh, Tontu. That will miss Tontu. <sighs> Wait, um, what? The? Okay, I guess I'm my turn. Well, is there anything else you'd like to do for your turn? My apologies. I would like to move here. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's my is turn. Your, it, okay. Sorry, I was trying Don't to Don't have attitude. Time. It wasn't even supposed to be your turn, you old man. Tantu. <laughs> uh, Tantu will run over to help Remo. Okay. And will leap in the air and bring down his oaken life-giving warhammer. For a 12. That will miss. And will miss. Crumbs! <laughs> That's my turn. All right, QB. Uh, how high in the air is he? All right, this one's not even in the air. He's trying to retreat. Oh, okay. Like on his turn. He's like about to fly away. Oh, <laughs> I'll just shoot. Ah, dang it. That'll miss. I'm done. Okay. Uh, with that, taking the uh, withdrawal action. The They'll fly up 60 feet in the air. Uh, anyone with ranged attacks? Uh, specifically, let's see. Onto... Now, I do have that guy's gun. Would you like Keep to forgetting use... to roll at advantage. You use my inspiration. Not now, but like, it's, it's. I'm just remembering it's an option. Yeah. Yeah, unless you declare it, I don't I don't spend it. Uh, oh, but I can't like use that in an attack of op or anything. Uh, no, no you can't. have a range attack. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. On my uh, turn, I want to use the thingy. <laughs> uh, Olive, are you doing anything? 
No, I just... Uh, <laughs> no. Owie? Um... Why not? I, I, I guess I could shoot him again. If you'd like. Go ahead and do the roll. I, I, I just want to land a, a flipping hit. Fuck. Okay. Uh, it flicks you That's off as it as it continues to fly away. <laughs> it gritty flips with you off, man. Okay, I want to use inspiration. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just hold control when I press it. Shift. No, shift. Shift, okay. Uh, that'll hit seven points of damage. Okay, uh, sneak attack. See you later, loser! <laughs> As the arrow just strikes through, and you just watch from 60 feet, this body just. Tontu <laughs> uh, has to dive out of the way before he gets squashed. <laughs> All right. Ending the encounter as the corpses of the rocks, the rocks younglings, those that were un, uh, not lucky enough to escape in time. I think one made it out, right? I don't want to really eat his face. I was just saying that. It's not appetizing. Is everyone okay? No. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've lost, lost my aim a bit. I need to sleep. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's lack of sleep. I, uh, I think that must be it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can sleep here. It's not safe. I, but I need to sleep. Maybe we should retreat back. Now that I got Zara the Bold back. Retreat back I'm where? I'm feeling great. I'm tired too. <laughs> what is that sound? What's that sound? I wouldn't be able to sleep with that racket. <laughs> is somebody uh, snoring? Where is it coming from, DM? Which direction? Oh. oh my god, what in we the should run. fuck? We should run, run, we should go, come on. Oh my god. Is that the beast titan? Let's go. Holy shit. Wait, I didn't even see, oh my god, what the <laughs> fuck? Run! Uh, How is he going run? Kev, run! <laughs> I don't He's think it could fit in Kef. this room. Like, we can take that on, right? I mean, we're not that tired, are we? <laughs> Copy. I'm falling to no, bed. Uh, I'm falling asleep. As you slam the door behind you, you'll just hear. <sighs> as you hear the heavy footsteps walking away from your direction. Many fearful creatures roam the realm of shadow. Will you survive this adventure? And that's where we will end today's session of Curious Curios. Yay! Yay! Don't mind a fucking so Brett, are dead. You, you, did, you never gave us the answer to the question. Hmm. Well, if we get a bed, maybe. Are you resting here? Uh, well, wait, what was the, what was I, the question? I don't think we're gonna. No, he said. He, yeah, the question was, will we survive? Not. Yeah, I'd like to sleep on the sacrificial altar. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm I'd sure like to press nothing. the big lever. I'm I'm sure sure nothing bad will happen. Altar. Um, so we're gonna you sleep in the guillotine. So, uh, yeah. good news, everyone. You just witnessed uh, one of the super bosses of the Shadow Vale just yeah, wandering through the area. Um, the super bosses of the Shadow Vale are Shadow Titans, um, and they're specifically oh. um, balanced for a party of, or rather, two parties uh, to face off against. So if you ever oh, cool. meet with a uh, another party, and if your objectives align, then uh, maybe one day... Man, it's almost like there's another party in the Shadow Vale right now, and you designed this encounter so that we would team up with them and fight it. I look, I give the crazy? Op I Maybe give that's just a Your hook is but... there, fish. I, Will I, you take it? Yeah, I get I give the options, uh, but ultimately they're up to you and you're free to turn them down. I love how Brett, I love how they were like bring up the Feywander, the centaurs, and we were just like Nah anyway, <laughs> I, don't I don't know what know that about is. This. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. <laughs> 
All right. How he wants to know. I'm going back to those centaurs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk, I back. tried to talk to them and they wouldn't talk to me. Well, that's because <laughs> oh, no. two of them were like, fuck you, and kept walking. They're like, all right, Kimmy later. Has destroyed our reputation. <laughs> this is like, if you're play, this is like uh, <laughs> the child represents This us. is like if you're playing yeah. Divinity Original Sin and like the wrong person talks to the NPC yeah. and yeah, they don't have yeah, like, yeah, the, right, yeah. they have the right fucking like, like social skills and Your you're like, oh God, please. Is ruined. Yeah. yeah. Let you're me, all... let me. Your I get extra dialogue options. Let me talk. Yeah, your your reputation is only good as your weakest diplomat. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, can I help? You're like, fuck off. No, get and out of here. Our weakest diplomat is QB. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eric, if you gotta go, you gotta go, man. I don't want to keep you here. I you... already, I already told my wife uh, it'll take a little bit longer, so oh. it's it's fine. Okay. I don't want to keep you here. If she's you, you she's go. just helping with stuff that I needed to do before we leave for Kyoto. Okay. Well, uh, did you guys have a good sesh today? Good sesh? Yeah. 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 Did you, did you have a good sesh today, bro? No, oh, bro. That's most important. I did. I, I had a great sesh. Oh, thanks, bud. I did as long as you guys did. That's all I care about. Yeah, it was that's codependent. It's so as those rocks. <laughs> What'd so you say? Trash talk. I oh. said, you were so sassy as those rocks. Yeah. <laughs> as the they, rocks? They were super sassy. Yeah, yeah they they're, they're, they're talking like yeah, crazy. Yeah, they're kind of just, you know. Is that they're... canonical now? A rock sassy in nature in IA? Or is that... are, you about, are you talking about the rocks? Yeah, the rocks are just yeah. literally just... Yeah, I mean, that's... They're, so the for those that play D and D, um, they're like, well, rocks are actually demons, but in Io they're considered devils, along with the Glabber Zoo. And yeah, the rocks oh. are just very snide and just they they are shit talkers. They are absolutely huh. shit talkers. They scream. I mean, the they, one that we met before was talking a lot. Of shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all. That's, that's all they do. They just they they like to poke. They like to piss you off. They love it. They want to get they're a rise out of you. Yeah. Yes, they are internet trolls. Yeah. Is the best way to describe <laughs> it. Except they'll do it to your face. Uh, right. So by to your face, I mean normally they're in like a distance away from you, and they're like get fucked, and then that's what they do. Is just. They just kind of continue to, to to beat down. So yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, actually, I take that back. Uh, my wife needs help. No, <laughs> Never you don't mind. Get out! Get the fuck bye, out! Have, Have a good fun. one. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay, see you guys. I'm sorry. Bye. 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 Don't okay. apologize. Just Get fuck out. Off. Just, just fuck off. Just fuck off. Get out of here. Oh, oh he's Le gone. Bless, bless Arix. Bless Arix for making the effort. Uh, let's go and do bingo bongo bingo bongo bango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any art that's focused around Arix, call I called you a bingo bongo bango. Hey, snaps fingers Ooh. points. Um, any uh, oh, fan art that has Arix as the focus, uh, we're gonna skip this week just so Arix can appreciate it. I hope you guys understand. I know you that guys will sense. understand. I'm talking to chat. You know. Yes. Like, Why don't we just show it twice, coward? Because I'm scared. You, you, you pointed it out. Congratulations. Because I want everyone to be all excited at the same time. I'll be like, seen it. Fucking seen it. Uh, anyways, uh, party makes a new bonfire fireplace. No. Uh, friendly shadow NPC. Nope. Uh, Goblins of Io reference. Just randomly there, but no. Sorry. <laughs> uh, wrench catapult. No. Survivors no. from Frostville are found. Yes. Very good. Moth being suspiciously overly nice. Nope. Uh, March on Fey Wonder reference. Nope. Deja vu moments. No, I don't know what that means, but no. Shadow Veil begins affecting the party. Uh, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, it, it, there's there are definitely threats around, so I guess that counts as affecting. I mean, uh, Alex kind of got affected by it, right? True, true. Uh, there's a nat twenty. Uh, Moth in the Shadow Veil. No, Olive doesn't fall asleep. Yes. If yeah. your character yeah. would have a theme song, what type of music would it be, Benji? Uh, what type of music would it be? Genre, it would probably genre. be like, sorry. What genre? Yeah, genre. Yeah, what genre? It'd be like old timey fucking jazz or something. What? Like a with a with a with a like oh like a, with on a, a hard sax on yeah. a scr on a scratchy <laughs> record like in an old yeah. record player play. Oh yeah, yeah. It wouldn't sound right. Hell yeah. Toxic by Britney Spears for the rocks. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, Curious, my God. Curious franchise location discovered. What? Does this mean? Uh, uh, uh no. Uh, sad. Wait, Curio's franchise isn't that the shop that we found in that town? Did you find it? 
a cute oh, like oh, yeah, the guy. kitty guy's oh, knockoff shop. We didn't I... find the location that he let, sent us to or something. Yeah, no, we'll no. Nope. Uh, sad Tantu moment? No. Howie no. old man moment? Yes. Every day of his life. Every with day. damage. I feel like that's a free space. Kopi spirit yeah. acts suspicious. Uh, I mean, left, came back. I guess yeah. so. No so yari 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 this episode. So close. So <laughs> close. Uh, yeah. Party split. <laughs> New hot springs yeah. discovered. No. Kopi mom moment. No, actually. Opposite. Uh, that's <laughs> curious slash curious. No. I Remo did say that's curious, actually. Okay. Oh, at all. Yeah. Remo trusts no one. Uh, no. Zero the bold. Test the party. A new shadow lord's lord. No. We actually came close. We did come close. Close, but no bingo. Close, but no bingo, bango, bango. Sorry, we had if bingo last time, was a mom. It'd be cheating if we got it two weeks in a row. Did yeah, we? Yeah, everybody gets one. Uh, yeah, we did yeah. last time. Not we, uh, last time, but not time. The week uh, Deadbeats got a double bingo last week. Oh, fuck. Oh, what did they win for that? Uh, they went... Get, I, I, I gave two thumbs up instead of one. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey... So, uh, that concludes my this 30 is amazing. minutes PowerPoint's about ants. Did you get all of that? <laughs> I love that so That's much. That's so good. That's really good. Uh, so, um, BearBot's been making video game themed, uh, themes off of characters. And obviously had to do this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't get with that. A knife. Yeah, that's oh my uh, gosh. I don't get that one. Yeah, that's I get a, it. That's doesn't understand that, right? that Yes, well, good for you. As long as it's not her own blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, God, that's a comic. <laughs> so, Bearbot also made uh, you guys based off of the, uh, the, 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 oh my God, it's actually really good. Uh, based off of, it's it's called the Final Fantasy XIV developer's art. Um, oh. Which I didn't, I didn't know what this was. So, so yeah. Uh, we'll kind of scroll up from there, and you guys can guess who it is. So we got, we got this one. Sam, for Sam. Actually, I want to show this one because this really one was cute. All, this art. one was also adorable because we got uh, Duke, Sam, oh, and the little oh, the oh, are, right? That's but cute. Precious. <laughs> got a uh, G Mart over here. Yo. <laughs> oh wait, I just saw the Dukes and Clark one. That's so cute. Yeah. It's super cute. We got this one. Got, That's definitely Laura. Yeah. <laughs> we got this one. That is how I'm sitting right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've got this one. That's Benji. Uh -huh. That's me. And then oh, also, I like it. Bonfire Dark Souls. Uh, yeah. And, and I, I, even though Arx isn't here, when we wanted to show the set. Oh, that's so okay. Dapper. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Those are all so cute. <laughs> They're really that's bear cute. Bot. Yep, that's Bearbot. Awesome shit, Bearbot. So yeah. good. Good job, buddy. Oh, oh, hey, oh my <laughs> god! SpongeBob reference, yes. Amazing. Tantu. Oh, I that's love the really lines. And draw. Tantu. Yeah. Aw, look at this one. Oh. Precious. <laughs> that's such a good Too Tantu. sleepy. <laughs> Hey. Oh my god! Hey. Shoot funny. it, Artie! Kill it now! Kill it! <laughs> oh my god! No, you're teaching him. You're teaching. You're teaching him no, how to kill. No, I'm the only owl in your life, Artie. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, well, guys, we will continue this next week, uh, next Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST, as you continue your adventure through the uh, through the Veil of Shadows. Thank you guys so much for playing. Thank you. MPMP. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.